Good evening and welcome to another episode of The Coach's Box. Ray Halbrook here from Livestream STL. Hope everybody's having a great evening. Just wrapped up our uh, Main Street Sports standouts and uh, we're rolling right straight along in here to The Coach's Box. Hope everybody can stick around and uh, be with us for the next two to five hours. I'm just joking. It's not going to be like that. We've got uh, plenty of plenty of uh, guys, coaches, and we've got another special guest as well. And uh, we're going to roll it over here to Coach Chris Miller. Coach, how are you, sir? I'm, I'm just living the dream, man. Living the dream. Yeah. I almost didn't make it here tonight. Yeah. You want to ask me why? 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 I couldn't afford gas to get over here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, I, th- I thought maybe it's because of my commercials. Hey, so uh, you're gonna lose. hey. Oh. But, but, but you're getting a stimmy check. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> By the end of the month. <laughs> it's maybe. supposed to be right away. Right. right. What about I the other trillion dollars? Week. Wait a minute. Hold on. What about the trillion dollars from the second one? What about yeah. that? What about that tax credit? You're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll That's take funny. it. <laughs> what about it? Hey. <laughs> but at least nobody's feelings are right. hurt. Right. I see nobody tweeted anything mean lately. No so. offensive stuff. And <laughs> uh, we got higher gas prices. Yep. It's good for the economy, it's though, right? It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, it's, I know, right? Take all that money and spend it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, on gas. On gas, because (laughs) it doesn't help the atmosphere. Because I can get four tanks of gas on that money at this price. The way it keeps going up. (laughs) It's awful. But anyway, no, we got a – I think we got a pretty good show lined up here. Yeah. We actually planned some stuff. That's a that's a that's a first. That's, a first. that's like a third. <laughs> it's like a third time. Maybe. Yeah. About We're as many not times usually very organized. We did plan. No, that'd be second. We did plan <laughs> show number one. Yeah. That's true. That was planned. And, and, and I don't think it. you guys planned it. I think that was Shooty that planned that. Tell you the truth. Well, well, we didn't about say who that. planned. Well, he got put on assignment pretty quick for doing that. <laughs> well, well, look what you happens. are the weakest link. <laughs> Goodbye. You know, look what, Go to Canada. Look what happens though. He, we put him on assignment. He becomes president of the St. Francis Borgia. Hey. 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 You know what the heck? He right? cares about kids' education. There you go. Oh, That's right. Here That's we right. go. <laughs> there we go. That's right. Chris Miller, what we got going on? Well, I mean, we're going to get right into it. We have a special guest. We have the JCAA three-time conference player of the year, Paige Fowler, joining us for a little bit (laughs) as we talk about our JCAA all-conference honors this year. So, Paige, welcome to the show. I know you're a big fan and watch it, just mm. usually to make fun of your coach. <laughs> I'm more of you than my coach. Oh, make fun of me? <laughs> Listen, oh, that, man. everybody yeah. does that. So <laughs> you just take a number, okay? But, um, no, a little, uh, you know, tell us what it's like uh, being, I mean, you just finished up your senior year. I mean, that's that's got to be tough because I understand what it's like when it plays and, uh, you know, that's it. It's over. But at the same time, you have a great career to look back on. You did a lot of great things at Herculaneum. So tell us a little bit about, you know, you just those things and your experience in general. Um, I'm so happy that I went to Herky. In the beginning, you know, I wasn't exactly planning on that. I wanted to go somewhere else, but um, Blair made me stay around. Well, well, so. Somewhere else. Someone that's in this building right now. I don't know where he would be at. Yeah, I'll Paige, do you care about your education. You should come to Herky. Oh, I don't think that was the seller right <laughs> No, um. So I'm very glad I did. I'm very glad that Blair guilt tripped me into staying here. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm guilt kidding. trip. All right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm glad I did. I had a lot of experiences I don't think I would have had if I went somewhere else. And I really love my teammates. They were friends I grew up with, and it was really hard saying goodbye at the, that last game. So, yeah. What's it like to win the conference player of the year not once, not twice, <laughs> but three times, which is – how many rings does LeBron have? <laughs> not has, one. Not I think two, he's got I three. Know, so anyway, like you got as many of those as LeBron he's does rings. Call me LeBron. All right. Mm. I don't know about that. But how is that? <laughs> Tell us about that. Um, well, actually, sophomore year, whenever I first got it, I didn't even know it was like an award or anything. When Blair called me, he's like, you got this. And I was like, what? What even is that? <laughs> so, I mean, I, like afterwards, I got really excited about it. And then junior year and senior year, I've just been working hard it, to get it. And I'm just happy that I have it, To that my work has shown to other people and mm-hmm. everyone recognizes it absolutely mm-hmm. um and let's see you are the career points leader mm-hmm. you've scored more points in a season than anybody else mm-hmm. herky three times wow 
all three seasons, my sophomore, junior, and senior year, she broke that record. Wow. She broke her own record every year. Well, that's that's uh, quite year. impressive. And then she also broke the uh, single season or single game, most points scored in a single game this year with 45. So uh, she's definitely going to be in the record books. Uh, you know, I'm sure she's hoping that she's going to be in there for a while, but uh, I'm sure some others – down the road are going to challenge her a little bit. I'm and, sure you know, Blair's yeah. hoping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Uh, we'll we'll be good. <laughs> what's, uh, what's maybe a, one or two memories that stand out for you over your, over your tenure here at Herculaneum? I have a couple of them that definitely stand out. One of them was the we always have a lock-in whenever over Christmas. Well, we did. We haven't the past two years, but we did, and we did the trust fall off the stage that we have up there, and we begged the coaches to do it, and Blair <laughs> took 40 years to fall, but he finally did. <laughs> Boar, Boar went up there. We counted. We were like, one, two, and on two, he just jumped. Like, he didn't fall. He, like, jumped into our I think our gravity arms. pulls him a little <laughs> bit harder <laughs> than most people. Like, oh, it was so scary. I really thought we were all going to break our arms. It was a scary moment. <laughs> but we were awesome. all like, <laughs> I thought and Boar then, was going to break their arms. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and then there's another one from the lock-in. We play hide-and-seek, and it was our fresh year <laughs> and the seniors were like the people that were supposed to come find us and they put on the purge music and it was pitch black wow. and I, we were all freshmen what is and, Blair like, doing over there I, don't <laughs> I mean I'm not I mean I'm not gonna like say any, hazing. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say uh -oh. any names but we definitely had someone like pee their pants so. uh, wow <laughs> somebody just got put on blast uh -huh, uh -huh. hope they're not listening uh -huh. oh she's probably not <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the show exists yeah, yeah. yeah. And then another one, like all the records that I've broken each night, broken each night has been that beating Union was definitely one of the mm -hmm. highlights of my year. Mm -hmm. And you know, forking the coaches' yards, you know, that was pretty fun. <laughs> 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 Make so, them pick up a hundred plus forks. So what's it like playing for Coach Blair? Because we Blair? always give him a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> so well, in middle, like he was always around because I played for Rob and Vaughn. So um, he was always around since I've been in fifth grade. So at first I was, like, kind of scared of him because, oh, it's the varsity coach. You know, I got to impress him. Yeah, now <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's so much. <laughs> now it's completely the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's like, now it's like, you've told me this already. Okay, I get it. And then, like, Vaughn will say the exact same thing. I'm like, okay, Vaughn, I get it. <laughs> like, it's just I've been around him so long, and it's just easy. I know exactly what he wants me to do, and I know exactly his tells when he's – his stares. I can tell the difference in his stares from the court and things like that. <laughs> I'm going to time out. <laughs> okay, yeah. do you guys make fun of the fact he sits in a little chair? Boar? No. <laughs> During timeouts. Oh, he sits in a That little chair, his little During chair the that Boar grabs. No. Puts no. No. Guys, oh, man. Oh, guys would. Oh. <laughs> Girls must be totally different. Uh -huh. No, I would feel bad. Why would he want to squat the whole time? He squats the whole game. Might as well give his knees a little break. <laughs> have, you, have you really been watching him? He does not squat. He stomps. He yells. Yeah, oh, we make fun of him. He's like, he's like three stops. Like, he'll leave his left foot, but he'll plant his right foot like four times. He's like, <laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> so what you guys need to do is come up with all these things that Blair does during his We already coaching. have. Like, you know. I need, you I need a copy <laughs> oh, of that. Oh, you need a copy? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. You should see, honestly, the co I honestly, <laughs> he is so funny. It's a mixtape on TikTok <laughs> for it. <laughs> he is so funny. Like, he gets up in the locker room, and one, his handwriting goes like this all the way down the board. <laughs> so you, you can't read anything he says. And then he he's gets talking. He's from Illinois. Come some size. <laughs> and then he gets talking, and he's, he, like, mixes his words. Like, I'm going to say he definitely said dipshit one time. <laughs> and did not mean to say that. It sounded this like that. This is a family <laughs> show. Oh. The views on this show are not <laughs> The so, of live yeah, everything just moves together. <laughs> Paige is about to be put on assignment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's it's no it's profanity <laughs> on this show, as I've been told <laughs> many <laughs> times. We have yeah. a swear jar. <laughs> we, you say we're a swear that. jar. Yeah. Mm -mm, I was repeating. There's no contribution from Paige Fowler in that jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. She okay. was quoting. Yes, <laughs> yes quoting. it's okay. It, it, was quoting. Quotes. it was quotes, yes. Oh. Well, I mean, it's it's always good fun because that's just some memories that you can have mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. always relive them, and then yeah. you get to tell these stories for years and years and years, and they become bigger and more crazier. Mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> instead of it being three steps, it's it like, like 12. 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's and that's always the fun part about it. Mm -hmm. That's always the fun part. Mm -hmm. 
Well, no. what's what's next for you now that basketball's over with? What's the? Oh uh, man, I was wondering who was going <laughs> to. Hey, hey, yeah. hey! Not me. I could tell you right now, though. Even if basketball's not a career for her, I tell you, she needs to get into umpiring because <laughs> she she did an excellent job. Are you still doing umpiring yeah. down in Twin City? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, one of the best umpires that that. I've seen. Yeah. It's awesome. I don't know. The men's league wouldn't uh, wouldn't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. That's different. Listen, listen, listen. That is too fast uh, for me. Especially that one over there. <laughs> oh, me and him, I swear, I, I fist fought him one time. Like, <laughs> no, I, I, can't, I can't do it that fast. My brain doesn't process. I can process a ball coming That must in. not be <laughs> our team. <laughs> I think she did one much. of ours, but it was the other guy who was terrible. Yes, yes. yes. You I took a that. charge. And, and I didn't call it. No, they and didn't I, call it. I wasn't too happy yeah. about it. I try for you guys, I don't know if you, you know. know. I, I definitely try and give you the extra hint sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Depends. It's fine. It's in the book. You don't think you're supposed to be. Uh, really, I don't think anything's by the book for that league. <laughs> Fair point. It's a men's league. No the comment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. It's a men's league at the Y. We get it. No. We get it. I'm hey. definitely playing basketball. Yeah. Blair, year, Blair got a technical at the two of them the two. other day. I didn't give them. I didn't give them. What? Uh, yeah, it was a couple weeks ago at the men's league. Did you get thrown out? Jarvis actually got the technical with me. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> I got one with him. How the hell is that? You happened? get a T. You get a T. Everybody now, gets a T. Blair got two of them, though. <laughs> I only got one. I, I stopped. Didn't. What? I, well, I didn't stop because I thought it was completely insane <laughs> that we got a technical foul. Men's league. Men's league. Oh, and Because we, we were just talking to each other, yes. really, and he yes. gave us a technical yes. for talking to each other about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny. I mean, uh, did you do it loud enough? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. He might not like it too much. Well, I don't uh, care. Shocker. I don't care. Shocker. I, oh. I just speak my mind. And then, really? <laughs> and then we had him as a ref for our JV game like that following week. Yes, we did. You yes. did too, yes. yes. Yes, it was great. Nice. Both teams won, though, yeah. so it was yeah, okay. Yeah, it was good. Didn't even give him a chance. <laughs> Oh, it was hey, hey, and that, there you go, folks. It's the, the coach of the year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jefferson County coach of the year, <laughs> Riley Blair, getting two technicals in the men's league. No, <laughs> nobody's seen that coming. Well, it was nope. fun. I mean, since I didn't get one all year, you know, regular season, I figured I'd get one at the best. So does that, mean he, does that mean he, he wins the poll then? The, you uh, win. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. I only have one. He does. He does win the poll. I, I, I that. All I did How was Hawk smash. Yeah. One, one. I had one on paper. <laughs> yeah, but you were, oh you were signal for <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I tried that with administration. It doesn't work. <laughs> 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 Only one was written up. Uh, uh, Why is great. it a big deal to get a technical anyway? I don't know. Who Does knows? it show you're on Sportsman, really? Maybe. When someone I is that terrible know. doing their I mean, job? I mean, I've never gotten one, so. That's good. <laughs> Players, don't yeah. Players don't need to. Players don't need to. Players don't need to. Let the coaches do the arguing. Mm -hmm. We're not very good at it, but we're still going to do it. That's the so, way it is. So we have a, a – I, I had a question I, I asked Paige a couple of days ago. You know, who's she going to at or tell first once she gets the offer? Mm -hmm. And we have, uh, we have, we're contractually obligated <laughs> to uh, make sure that it, we we uh, break it here for uh, through live stream STL first. Sure, sure. So there yes. you go. You guys are allowed. I to, kid. But I kid. I mean, I don't know where that's going to be, but it's going to be somewhere. Let us how, know. How's the recruiting <laughs> process? <laughs> how's that going? Who's for you? after you? Let's let's just ask that. Who I have offers from. Webster, Greenville, Principia, Font Bonne, Co and Cotty, and St. Louis Community College. And, and where do you stand right now with your feelings? Right I, now? I don't think she's going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> <laughs> where um, do you stand? <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely just been a stressful process, and it's just we're trying to get to the end. I feel mm -hmm. like we're coming close, but we'll, we'll, there's some oddballs that are going to try and sneak in, I have a feeling, so – I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> She's waiting for. Well, enjoy color. that process. Yeah. Really yeah. enjoy. It's it, so it, stressful. It, it is. No but you know, out of it. The rewards well. are much greater at the end. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. keep telling her Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, just a brief rundown. We're going to go through the the all. I do want to. Oh, go ahead. Speak, go ahead. You know, Obviously. a couple of words about Paige, and you know, um, it's been a pleasure. You know, coaching her. I know I get a. You know, I we talked after the game. You know, and I. In the locker room, he gets a little emotional when you, you he finally. He called me his favorite. Uh, Did he cry? Yes. Well, you oh, know. Yeah. And I might get a little emotional on this show, but just because, 
that's just the kind of the kind of kid that that Paige is. <laughs> Go ahead and take a picture. Of it. <laughs> yeah, get, I don't know what you're your talking ready. about. Get your meme Where's ready. Where's a big crier? He comes but. all the time. <laughs> ah, now all the truth's coming out. Yeah, yeah. This is I want to hear Jarvis. I want to hear Jarvis is the big crier. That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't know, Jarvis I was, has emotions. I was pretty <laughs> upset after, yeah. after our last game because I had some kids like, yeah. you know, Bracey and um, Austin Myers that I had really put in a lot of work. So th- those uh, last game tough. talks are no fun. Yeah, they're, they're tough. No fun. You know, and that's something that, you know, I you know, she's been a big part of our program, like and she had said, since fifth grade. But I, I will – say this story and I said this to our kids in the locker room and I'll say it to probably for many many years going forward um I, I'll still remember my first year coaching at Herculean I'm on the girls side first basketball game of the year at home uh who do I turn and look at half court and there's this young lady with her dad sitting at midcourt um and she was third grade then um and you know she was sitting at, at, at center court of our basketball games and there wasn't very many basketball games at home that she didn't see and she wasn't a part of and so you know I knew at that point uh you know that she was you know someone that was going to take a lot of pride in what she did and and she put the work in um countless hours I can't tell you how many hours uh, I've seen her in the gym putting in the work putting in the effort to to try to achieve the goal that she wanted to be and and so you know, if I can say to any athletes out there, the most important thing is putting in the work and the time and don't just expect that you're going to be good um, regardless of how talented you are. You know, Paige is very talented, but I think the, the, the biggest thing about her talent is is the hard work that she puts into that to make her talented. And so I think that's a, a big thing that, you know, she needs to take pride in and a lot of athletes need to take pride in that. But, the, you know, the, one of the most important things with her is her relationship, her and I's relationship has – has become stronger just simply for the fact that she knows what I expect. I know what she's expect. I know what's expected from her. Um, and you know, it's just, it's just that matter of, of understanding your athletes. And I think that a lot of coaches, um, today it, it's a struggle because, you know, um, so many kids have different personalities and different, you know, different mindsets and, and vice versa. But, uh, you know, when you get somebody like Paige that, you know, comes through your program, you know, you, it's a, it's a very high thing and, and doesn't happen very often, but, uh, you know, I'm very excited for her, and you know, I'm looking forward to the, the opportunity to to see where she goes and plays. And I know um, I've gone on a couple of college visits with her um, just to experience that with her and, you know, to kind of be there for her. And, you know, those are some big-time things when those coaches are talking up there and mm-hmm. talking about this and that and this. And, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, a lot of things are going through your head. So mm-hmm. I can imagine um, as far as for her, you know, all the things that she wants to accomplish, but at the same time, you know, you got a lot of things going through your mind, and, and so it's not easy. But uh, so, you know, if you're out there watching and, and you know, you're looking for a, a quality athlete, a quality player, someone that's going to work hard uh, consistently and, and you haven't uh, seen her play, reach out because uh, I, I guarantee you you won't be disappointed as far as that goes. So, uh, you know, I want to put a big shameless plug out there, I guess you could say. But, uh, I mean, it's well-deserved. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, I know most of you guys know her pretty well and, and – and have have built a relationship with her as well. So, uh, you know, I definitely would, if any of you kind of know anything out there, college coaches or whatever, I'd love for give her an opportunity. You know, you never know what the opportunities are out there and, and who's watching. And so uh, just, you know, high praise for Paige. So mm-hmm. I appreciate Absolutely. everything you've done for us, our program. So. Thank you. Well, he says a lot of nice things now. I bet there was a couple times he didn't say some nice things. There's times and places for sure. I mean, I, mean, I got knocked out on the court, and the first I wake up, and he's like, that was a stupid decision. I was like, I, was like, I don't even remember it. So <laughs> you can go ahead and say it. Does your protocol about? kick in at that point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. how many fingers do I have? No, you got to ask the true false. Yeah, true false. <laughs> this is Man's got some fingers. fingers. Man's got some fingers. Yeah. That's yeah. great. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, so – all right, so we're going to have to kind of roll through here and, and talk about our, the rest of our all-conference uh, honors with that, throughout the conference. So, um, obviously, Paige is our player of the year, uh, followed by A.J. Agers from St. Pius, Annabelle Wakeland from Grandview, Emily Weesey from Herculaneum, Annie Waits, Crystal City. Those round out your first-team all-conference. If I say anybody's name wrong, so you guys just yell at me. Mm-hmm. And that, that way it'll be fine. Ray, I don't know if you throw graphics up or not. Already up there, buddy. Man, look at that guy on top of it. He Second is. team all-conference, uh, Macy Pilliard from Herky, Laney Smith from uh, R7, Caitlin Couture from Cajun. R7. Yep. I'm sorry. That's See, right. There it is. Yeah. 
They, they spelt it wrong here. Wow. Look at there. They did. Uh, Riley Capozo from St. Pius. Genevieve, is it Lipe or Lippy? Lippy, I believe. Lippy? I knew a kid mm. who's named Lippy, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, St. Vincent, uh, an honorable mention, Molly Clemens from Crystal, uh, Mary Schwartz from St. Vincent, Colleen Flanagan from St. Pius, and Natalie Moore from Grandview. So pretty good list of athletes. I've got to watch a lot of these kids play. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know that, you know, even getting any kind of recognition is well-deserved. So mm -hmm. we're just happy to kind of put a little little spotlight on that. And, mm -hmm. and obviously Paige and Paige's career, because she is a friend of the show. Mm -hmm. um, Better Kim. call a lot better in the men's league if I play. Hey, and she's <laughs> so, you know. no problem, hey, no anytime problem. you bring ice cream, that's right. You're a friend of the show. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that bought right. you a lot of street cred. <laughs> yeah. Allow you to come on the show so we can, <laughs> right. you know. Okay. All right. All right. So just all remember. Right. When, when, when Zach loses okay. tonight, there should be an ice cream cone sitting <laughs> exactly. right there. Dairy <laughs> Queen is right over there. Dang. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I Quick don't get trip. paid much from that men's league here. You get QT 50 cent ice cream cones. Hey. I don't know. I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the cheap ice cream when he loses. He doesn't deserve the good stuff. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> this is the same thing. <laughs> QT and Dairy Queen. Well, one of them comes in a Dairy Queen cup, and obviously yeah. that cup costs a lot it, more. It, one of them comes does. from Prairie Farms, and the other one comes from the generic. All wherever. right, Pepsi guy who knows <laughs> the listen, insides uh, and listen, of everything. Listen, how about we just go to Central State up in Jeff City and call that, it a day? Be, like. Central State <laughs> would be great. Yeah, just right like now. that. For sure. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, so I guess we'll jump over on the boys' side and cover it. Whose phone keeps going off? <laughs> Not mine. Not mine. Gosh, I hear that dinging. No one likes <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> anyway, all That's right. Mine. Mine's off. <laughs> okay, so on the boys' side, um, All-conference uh, MVP, most valuable player, goes to Donovan Tullock from Crystal City. Mm -hmm. um, and the coach of the year goes to Bruce Valroy from St. Vincent uh, on his undefeated season in the conference. We should have him on here sometime. You know, he watches the show. Mm -hmm. uh, down in Perryvale. And, and yep. I'm Perry. sure that <laughs> Perry County, let's get it right. Some, Perry Perry somebody turned, turned a Wi-Fi antenna so he could get service <laughs> enough to watch this. Yeah, there I, was a lot of talk at the conference meeting about <laughs> we him about watching Facebook. our show. I better, uh -oh. There were a lot of people who were talking about it. Yeah, they were. But uh, I said, Bruce, oh. you have Facebook? And he goes, hey. nope, that ain't the way I watch it. <laughs> I have. I have that ain't the way I watch it. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> how it sounded, oh, too. Man. I have the greatest idea, uh, uh, but I know that no, the, co no, the coaches would the probably The views of Ray are yeah. not the views yeah. of the exactly. coaches. Box. And so commercials. Coaches, <laughs> coaches, hear me out. Hear music. me out. How about, how about we stream the coaches' meeting? Next year. That's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, there was a couple happen. of stories that probably weren't <laughs> that's not gonna family happen. friendly. Right. We don't okay. need to share. No, yeah, that, that will never happen. <laughs> that will never happen. Ever. Ever. It was a thought. <laughs> but I know it's happen. a bad thought. Not not there. there you go. All on, right. On with the list. All right. <laughs> so, Donovan Tolick, uh, John Wibbemeyer from St. Vincent, Colby Ott from R7, Nathan Rubel from St. Pius, Philip Ernst from St. Vincent. Those round out your first team. Then the second team is uh, Chase Wilson from Grandview, Dallin Fuller from Herculaneum, Xander Parson from St. Pius, Isaiah Bracey from Herculaneum, and Carson Short from Crystal City. And honorable mentions include Drew Brees from R7, Evan DeWild from St. Vincent, Colton Richardson from R7, Michael Bollinger from St. Pius, and Chase Martin from St. Pius. So a lot of our kids, um, you know, me. I mean, we've obviously played against these guys. See a lot of kids that we normally see. Um, Donovan, I think, was the unanimous Donovan choice. Donovan was unanimous as choice the MVP. for MVP. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He deserved it. I mean, the kid could score. I'll be happy not to have to guard him. To <laughs> yeah. have our our kids guard him next year. Great player. I tell you what, went to went to school with mom and dad and and T. You know, if you watch, hey, how you doing? And I tell you, a great kid. You know. Um, just a quick story on Donovan. So he was he was at a story time. pious R seven ball game a couple years back, and and uh, saw him. You know, just some some random guy in a crowd. And I just said, hey hey, uh, I just want to say hi. Went you know what's high school with your with your folks and tell your mama said hi. And I said yes sir, I'll do that. I mean, you talk about just a you know a great kid. You know, some some random guy is going to come up and just talk to him and introduce himself and all that and. Yes or no, sir, and all that. So, T, you're raising fine young gentlemen there, and best of luck to him if he's going to go, whether it's track or basketball or whatever his his uh, future is going to entail. But uh, great great kid and great family. I would think it will be basketball, and uh, I I, he hasn't so. got – I don't think he's decided yet or gotten really? gotten 
uh, decided where he's going yet, but uh, I'm sure it's somebody. either or. Somebody mm-hmm. can pick him up. Somebody should pick him mm-hmm. up. He'd be a mm-hmm. great addition, I would think. I mean, he. I mean, he. He was a heck of a player. It was mm-hmm. it was hard as hell to guard him, mm-hmm. and uh, you know the mm-hmm. fact that Crystal City, you know, gets to, gets the chance to to win the district and play mm-hmm. in the sectionals. I mean, it, just a dream season for the kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, he apparently had a had a really good week, you know, mm-hmm. all yeah. district, win the district, and prom king. Prom king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the player yeah. of the year. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a time to be him. Yeah, right. <laughs> so and it's great for the kids. I like mm-hmm. to see stuff like that happen. Sure. So I'll, I'll tell you the 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 best part of that week going into that d- district game you know we, we took the trick down to caledonia and uh, middle of nowhere middle of nowhere <laughs> 100%. I, I got i it's got a neat my gym though it is a neat gym it is a neat gym it is if you don't know you need to google earth it it is a neat gym google earth i was wondering yeah. who, who was going to bring it up who do you school. think was going to bring it up i was setting it up for you spike that thing down what it's if you don't know where it's at it's a middle of nowhere you use google earth right right google maps this is the best part this is the best part about this whole thing okay check this out <laughs> I'm, I'm talking with I, I'm talking with uh, uh, with Lee Richardson because because we we're going to meet him down there, and he tells me he's like, yeah, I had thought that he said there's plenty of stuff to eat there in Caledonia, right? So we're thinking <laughs> I've you know, I've got my wife, uh, a, an intern, and my son with me, so there's four of us, and we had an eight dinner, you know, so so I'm sitting there with. Uh, you misheard. I totally, I, I totally misheard. There was nothing there but what a gas station. Uh-huh. It, it was a Roy's. Yeah. And we got and it, it was the first day of Lent. And oh, the, no. la- the lady told me, she's like, only thing we got is fish. And I'm like, I don't care. I will have fish. You know what I mean? She's like, this is the fourth box of fish we went through <laughs> in three hours. Gas oh, station. That's the only gas place that gas station fish. Got fish. <laughs> I don't right. know. And Just a notch know. above gas know. station sushi. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what we ate was a gas station fish. But oh, I tell, my but I tell gosh. You, the, I called him, and I called him. I said, Lee, dude, where did I miss it? He goes, no, I was telling you over here in, in, in Farmington. I'm like, I'm not going through Farmington to get to – Caledonia, <laughs> you know. I don't know where we got mixed up, but anyway, great game. They played. Um, they played amazing. They, they, it was. It was a definitely a one A 1A game for them. Not a lot went wrong for them, mm-hmm. and, and that's why that's mm-hmm. why they were able to win so big. It was great. Game. Ice cream. Here comes some ice cream <laughs> from Quick Trip. So when Paige yeah. is on the show, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a bag next Listen. week. I gotta pass this over because I can't. I can't eat it. Oh, you can. You can. I can. I gotta you get can. my way to the favorite somehow. You know. Yeah. I can't eat it, but I'll eat it. Oh, well, fine. I'm afraid. No well, cry. listen, I haven't no lost crying on the pounds. coach's oh, box. Yeah. I'm trying There's to get to that cream. point, then I'll eat some ice cream. I'll take a cheat day. There okay. you go. Look at you. It's a reward day. Cheating Real is negative cheating connotation. Is a negative. Well, cheating, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. with that, Ray, I think it's time for us to go yeah, to absolutely. commercial. You pay some bills, and when we come back. We'll eat some ice cream. Yeah, right. we're gonna, we're, I'm going to watch these guys eat ice cream and just hate my life. And when we come back, we're going to start talking about a little bit about our high school state playoffs and little bit of uh, college basketball. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to college basketball. Mm-hmm. How about those Wildcats? Anyway, <laughs> go ahead, Ray. You're watching the Coach's Box. We'll be right back. Tell us we can't, and we'll prove you wrong. Knock us down, and we'll get right back up. Call us risk takers. Misfits. Bad boys. But we know what we want. And it feels like American muscle. Looks like advanced engineering. And smells like fresh cut grass. Bad boy. Mow with an attitude. Jefferson College has affordable degree options for students of all ages. Plus, register before December 11th and you could win a $250 book scholarship or other great prizes. Jefferson College provides safe on-site and online options and many exciting career pathways like humanities, business, social science and public service, math, physics and technology, and science and health. Students who know, go Jeffco. Enroll now at jeffco.edu. Hi, I'm Lawrence Krodinger with Home by SMCI. Whether it's residential or commercial, we have the right products for you. Global Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, even help dust in your house. 
they install easily less than 45 minutes and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. If you're interested in any of the products that we do offer, give us a call at 636-337-4444 or send us an email at service at homebysmci.com. Dr. Craig Rubel is an orthopedic surgeon and fellowship trained sports medicine specialist who cares for all athletes of all ages, performing total joint replacements, knee and shoulder arthroscopies, and general orthopedic procedures such as fracture treatment and corporal tunnel releases. Visit rubelortho.com or call 636-933-7400. Tired of showering? Well, have we got a solution for you? We interrupt this commercial with good news from your good neighbor. State Farm has new lower car insurance rates, which means you can save more cash and get the service and convenience of a local State Farm agent. That's right. State Farm now has new lower auto rates with their same good neighbor service. It's the real deal for car insurance, folks. And now this. For lower auto rates in Jefferson County and the surrounding area, call me, Sandy Vest, at 636-464-9298. Hey, Ray Halbrook here with Livestream STL. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. Do us a huge favor. Check out our brand new website, livestreamstl.tkdsports.com. There you'll see plenty of information about your schools, uh, articles about different games and whatnot. And we appreciate you checking that out. Do us a huge favor also. We'd really like for you to mention Livestream STL to your athletic directors and superintendents. Tell them you want us in there to uh, bring high value to your school. We'd appreciate that. And thanks again for watching tonight's broadcast. And we are back for round two. What is that? Does that mean keep talking? Okay, well, <laughs> while you're while you're giving me hand signals that I have no idea what you're saying, here's the hand signals. Show, show me the hand signals again. No? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Am I on camera? He says, anyway, I'm going back to what I'm talking about here. Mission Playoffs March Madness tomorrow night, 5.50 p.m. We will have Lutheran South at North County. Check that out on Mission TV. Come out and check out the amazing Livestream STL's production. We also have another one out there. You read large schools. I did. I have, You read large schools. You want me to read large schools. Is that what it is? Let me, let me turn. Where's your wah, 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 wah. Oh, the reason why Where's I write that? that on a board is yeah, so that everyone does. doesn't know yeah. that. Oh. Yeah. There you go, Ray. Epic. And the show has reached a new low. No. Epic <laughs> fail. There we uh, go. Now I, say, I don't have the graphics to read it. So I say, you read it. That's you what want, I was trying to tell you. Oh, you want me to read it? I'll yes. do it right now. I'll oh do it right now while the, cr while the, while the crickets are No, it's got to be your bull. Go ahead. <laughs> you can get a good look at your butcher. <laughs> Large schools. Here we go. Large schools. Now go to this side. Large schools, girls, large schools. Josie Allen from Festus, that was not a shocker to me, especially after I got pounded for not posting the large schools at, at uh, the midseason from uh, Josie Allen's grandma. <laughs> she gave me, a, she gave me a, a, a strict talking to about that. So we apologize, but we get Don't mess with right. grandma. Don't mess with grandma, I know. Nope. Josie Allen, player of the year, no, no, uh, no surprise there. Uh, Angela Fuller from Perryville, schooler, uh, coach of the year. Uh, any thoughts on that, guys? I mean, jo Josie's a very good player. I mean, yeah. I hated it for last year that she missed out on our freshman year with some knee injury, but um, she, you know, she's a really good player. She makes a lot of things go for Festus, mm -hmm. and you know, um, she's going to have a great career there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I, and I'm, you know, she's uh, someone that you know I think will 
do some pretty good things throughout her high school career, but now moving forward, uh, even after that, mm -hmm. I think that's the, the biggest <laughs> the biggest thing about it, you Jeez. know. And uh, well, my sounds off. I don't know why that ring came through. Obviously not. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, can you act like you're Look a professional? This is a professional wow. show. <laughs> <Yeah. All right. laughs> First team all conference shows the Allen from Festus, Leah Burek from Perryville, Cameron Peely from DeSoto, Kayla Shornbush Shorn from, from Perryville, and Piper Montgomery from Windsor. Second team, Symphony Shadorsky, I love saying that name, from Windsor, Kayla Van Horn from Hillsboro. Um, uh, Taylor Jones from DeSoto, Reagan Daly from Windsor. Your honorable mentions are Dylan Day, Maya Curtois, um, Trista Grove, Zoe Wood, and Biz Spurgeon. So there you go. We there it is. We're moving to the next one. Yep, to the boys. Yeah, moving on. Let's I move on to the boys. Don't know much quick. about the. <laughs> I did the, you, rest. You the boys go home and home too. On yes. the large yeah. side, yeah. so yeah. both yes. boys and girls went home and home. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, 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 lost, we lost some of our, our large school opponents because of that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I didn't get to see a lot of these guys I normally would get to see because we don't play them. Yeah. We forgot to add Ben Elick here. Step it oh, in. Oh, hey, for, uh, there's Ben. Hey, Ben, how you doing? I just jumped in. He just kind of threw in because he's uh, still you know, here. Paige left. You know, <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Paige got tired and she left. So we'll take him um, down here. So let's do the boys here real quick. Go down here to the bottom. Here it is, right here. Um, we've got um, Jordan Mertens as the player of the year and Zeb Hammond as the coach of the year. I think, that, Zeb. I think that's a, a, two well-deserved honors right there. I mean, I thought DeSoto achieved greatness this year. I mean, they, they took North County down to the wire there in that uh, district mm -hmm. um, basketball yeah. game down there. I mean, last year. Well, and that Mertens week. kid put in a lot of work. Oh, my goodness, he, he, yes. If you would have seen him four years ago compared to what he is now, yeah. uh, he really put in a lot of work. So, uh Good praises for you know, him. and I and I that's a hundred percent the truth, and I think that's a perfect example of what consistent work pays off. You know, right. and that kid has definitely done that. And, you know, Coach Hammond, I mean, what a great what a great guy, and what a great thing he's done down there. He's kind of you know starting to trying to rebuild that program back, and and he's done a great job of getting kids excited. Uh, you know, my son is <clears throat> plays on that program, and you know he just does a a lot of a quality things as far as. Uh, you know, get kids excited about basketball again down in DeSoto. I mean, it was the, the blood of of Jefferson County, really, in boys basketball for many, many years under Coach Allen Davis. And uh, so, I, you know, I think Zeb does a great job down there and, you know, turning that program around and having a chance this year to, you know, to share the conference with, uh, you know, Festus. And so, I mean, what a what a great event for them. And, you know, they're going to they're gonna make some noise here for a couple more years, I believe, too. So. And Hillsborough's kind of been the – the class of that for the last few years, Hillsboro, right? Hillsborough, Festus, and, yeah, yes, yeah. I, I know uh, our boys two years ago lost to Hillsborough in district title game, and they were tough, man. Yes, they, yeah. they were good. Yeah, yeah. This was a different year for Hillsborough, being what they aren't. They were not what they normally are. Uh, we played them late the last game of the year for us regular <laughs> season because we had to add them uh, as, and uh, we put up a fight with them. Was within. 11, got it down to 11 points four time, five times in the fourth quarter and just couldn't get that single-digit thing. But uh, Dan does a good job out there with Hillsborough. I agree. He beat us by one. Yep. I watched it's that game. It's bad coaching. I watched the game. Bad coaching. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they weren't playing as well back when you played them either, I don't think. Dude, that was early in the season. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm just saying it was, er, it was early in the season uh, hey, when hey, you played them. Charter member, Chris Miller Fan Club. <laughs> right here. Thanks, Mike. Hey, because uh, you know why? Because we care about our kids. We care education. about a kid's education. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh. There we go. There Sorry, guys. Go. You yeah. all suck. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Moving on. Move on. Let's move on here. Oh. Um, so, so many team. things I want to say. <laughs> First team all conference Jordan Mertens, Armad Branch, Sonny Amabile, Aiden Blair, Colin Riendo. I'm going to have to just say this real quick. Uh -oh. How about that, Aiden Blair? Played really well. How about that, Aiden Blair, there, coach? He changed a lot of things, made a lot of things happen, put them a lot of work and time in. Yeah. You know, I think that you know that whole that whole group of uh, on the large school side. I mean, they talk about hard work. I mean, those those five kids have put in the time um, over the last five or six years as far as um, just committing themselves to to working in the off season, putting in a lot of time and effort and skill work, and, and uh, so pat, pat their hat to those. Uh, 
for those five kids that they put the work in for sure. Anybody Tapping want? at? <laughs> Tapping at. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Illinois thing, probably. It is. Uh, it is. Tapping it? Is. Tapping at? <laughs> what are we like? All right. Good day to you, sir. Uh, Good day, mate. Wow. Hey, let's get through this all conversation. So, so, for, for, <laughs> so first we're dealing with we're, we're dealing with Canada, and now it's good day, mate. Good day, good day, good day. All right, okay. Jumping on to finish this Jire year. if he wasn't a strong suit. <laughs> yeah. All right, second team, Cole Rickerman, Zach Whaley, Noah Holland, Nick Krodinger, Logan Chaney. Honorable mentions, Levi Fisher, Colin Ryan, Winehouse, Eric Schneider, and Dawson Camden. Anybody jump out there to you guys? I mean, Rickerman, he's a heck of a ball player. You know, um, just he's able to shoot the three. You know, uh, I mean, obviously not knowing anything about that, I, you would have thought maybe, I mean, he would have been because he was he was a stud last year. But I, I think the uh, the branch kid came in, Professor's really helped them out, and so. But I mean, that, that's another. Good I don't think Rickerman shot it as well this year right. as he had last I year. Don't know, uh, I think the Whaley kid's another kid that put in a lot of time in the off season. He's one of those kids that does basketball year round and. Uh, uh, put in a lot of time. It doesn't surprise him and that Noah and the Noah Holland kid, uh, mm-hmm. who's a sophomore over there at Hillsboro. Uh, my son, I don't know why I know him a little bit is because my son's played on some teams with him and stuff. And he's a he's a basketball first kid too. And uh, those are some kids that really put in some work. I agree. I mean that's a that's a definitely a. I mean that whole large school side. I think the in the boys. I mean they, you could have. They could have probably voted on that five times and got five different ones. Uh, he just because there's there was a lot of quality athletes on well, the other side. Well, a lot of parity this year in the large yeah, school. Well, there yes, was. Very well, much I so. agree. I, I mean, there's a lot of talent. If you look at that small school and uh, large school boys conference teams, uh, you can make some good good basketball teams out of those. So groups. here's the question: If you played an all-star game with the large <laughs> school are. versus oh, never the mind. small school, oh, I would. Which group would win? Boys or girls? Well, let's we'll start with boys. <clears throat> I, I would have to f- defer to the large school. I would say the large school. I would say the large school just simply for the fact that they're – What about on the girls' side? Shooters. Push. I think, I think the girls I, I think the girls would be a good I, yeah. matchup. I think it would be a good matchup. I think yeah. it really would. I think small school might get them on the girls' side. Yeah. If there's anything so. that's a good – that's good as far well, as Well, you can relative. find out because there's going to be an all-star game yeah. with the JCC versus M. Yeah, Blake coming up here. Board. Wait, seniors that, only, but yes. Seniors only. So, yeah. so back when Steph we used Martinez. to have the, the yep. JCA shootout, the on the boys' side, I think only three times did a small school beat a large school. Mm-hmm. On the girls' side, it wasn't uncommon. Yeah, yeah. So if that gives you any idea, mm-hmm. that that would be my my best guess is saying it would be a it'd be a close game. So yeah. Ray, it sounds like they need somebody to uh, live stream the All Star game. There you go, um, hey, Stefan Martinez. You know what's funny about that is we actually. I actually contacted Stefan Martinez two years ago, you know, and obviously this is pre-COVID, but, um, you know, we'd be definitely interested. In, I've done done it for Dalen. We've done it for Dalen, done the uh, the uh, the All-Star game a couple years ago. They didn't uh, have out it out last out, year. Yeah, didn't have it last year. But um, uh, yeah, somebody get a hold of Stefan Martinez. We'll come down and do it. Absolutely. I'm going to tell know? you right now, though, that JCC, they, they have it, hopefully. JCC, MAAA, I, I'm going to say, and anybody that's from down in that area, on the girls' side, I think that's probably the best senior class of girls that has come through the MAAA in a long, long I, time. I would agree with that statement. That is uh, that is a loaded, loaded senior class. Totally agree with that statement. Yeah, so congratulations to all these people on all conference. Yep. And uh, I think we need to move it on, man. That's cool. Yeah. Let's talk about some state playoffs. 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 Yeah. Hey, the final four just started today. we got a couple of teams in class two now that are moving on. Yeah. Yeah, the Campbell Camels. Yeah, playing for your that, their mascot is yeah. the Camels. It's awesome. awesome. That'd have been cool if it was the Soups. I mean, no, hey, no. 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 <laughs> the list of the announcers tried to say Campbell Camels <laughs> today because I kind of watched a little bit of it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was great. Wasn't that, that the hold game on. you were was talking Was that when about? you were caring about your kids' education? You were watching yeah, the game, or I was foot up on the desk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I had my foot up on the desk. I had the game on. I was watching it. Okay. Hey, playing today, time. Today was our last day before spring break. Like yep. we start spring break tomorrow. Yep. Accounting. I saw we you play Monopoly. We <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Simulation, man. That's right. Hey, learning how to 
to like do your accounting for a business, real estate management, like teaching them like real life applications. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Greatest decision I made this year probably. Uh. I could tell you were I, proud with that post. <laughs> I saw that post today. I went, look at this guy playing Monopoly. Hey, you know, they talk hey. a lot of smack about us, and they complain <laughs> about their stuff. They're just mad because we work smarter, not harder. Bingo. Oh, oh, I, was, I didn't complain. I had a good day. I talked yeah. about World War II today. And, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> in U.S. history, that was. <laughs> but, See? but accounting was the end of the day. I was, you know, the, the kids were a little more motivated when they got there versus. Sure. Dude, the, I teach a class called History of Sports. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm happy great, with it. It's, class, oh, it's huh? a great hey, class. Watched uh, Daryl and Doc I need the today. Oh, I need the syllabus yeah. for that class. Yeah, they, this guy, right, this guy yeah. right here, might have a, a heck of a syllabus for that class. Oh, he helped me out a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he did gave you get, me some cool did stuff. Did you get that from DJ Dan? Uh-uh. You made that? Mm -hmm. Look at you go. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. He made some cool stuff because I've used some of it. <laughs> Wait, he knows how to use technology? Yeah. Why hey. the hell aren't you doing this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I think he – Sandbagger. I will, I, I will say most of the technology that I got were from other people that he pushed, put he, me to. Exactly. Yeah, but exactly. Can't even do Twitter. <laughs> no, Man. No. <laughs> so was that Campbell team, was that the team that was down like 20-something? Yeah, they were down 23 in the sectional game and against Alton. Mm -hmm. And Alton decided they were going to kind of pull the ball out and That's what I thought. I remember you talking about that. In yeah. the second half. The whole second half. Mm. Wow. And they ended up losing because um, on the last second, on the last second steal, wow. they had the ball, yeah. stole it about top of the key. Kid from uh, Campbell having to be the coach's son, who's an All-State player, mm. dribbles down, shoots a layup as the buzzer goes off, and they win. Mm. Wow! So, so hey, did uh, Walnut Grove win today, girls? I don't think they they didn't play today. Oh, the that's class tomorrow. one plays tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, class two played uh, played today. Played today, so it's going to be Campbell against Salisbury, not the Stakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just saying. Talk about <laughs> geography. That ought to be something here. Who the heck that could be a, anymore? That could be a pin the tail. Of the, of what, the, where uh, all these places are? Uh, I would win this. Uh, so I'm not talking about I'm talking about the listeners. Uh, oh, yeah, I thought they, you were going to do that. Salisbury is up do is near get Columbia. Who is those? Area. Seriously, I trust me. Yeah. I can probably name all the mascots for right. these teams. Yeah. It's just well, weird. Probably You're the guy that wins the college. center court challenge. No, nice. but I've helped out the center court challenge. <laughs> I almost ended up getting a job at Salisbury. Really? Right yeah, Did you drive all the way up there? I lived in – well, I was living in Fayette going to Central Methodist, That's, and yeah. I graduated in, the, in December. So yeah. they had a position open, and I was kind of talking back and forth, but I decided to come back here. It's kind of like West Rand High School, which is up there too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. West – Randolph County. They just call it Westran. 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 Yep. And that's the name of the school. Yeah. Yeah, they, anyway. That was a girls' basketball dynasty for a while, oh, too. Yes. Yep. They were really yeah. good in football. Uh, good in football. Yes. And they oh, had, yeah. like, one coach. Like, yeah. the one year I saw them up at Central Methodist Camp, they had, like, one, one or two coaches. That was it. Mm -hmm. And they were good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, moving on to Class 2 girls, uh, Final Four, Ellington beats Blue Eye. That so is. Ellington Whippets are playing for their first state Amen. championship. They first time the girls the have ever been in the final four. Matter of fact, I think it's first time any of the basketball teams have been in the final four. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, good for them. And they're going to be playing Wellington Napoleon. So I don't know how good their girls. Their boys teams used to be pretty good, mm -hmm. but I mean, it sh probably should be a good game. All those games are tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You can pay fifteen dollars and watch them on Mission TV right. all weekend. Or you can watch or all one. of them. You could go. You could go, go to the game. Pay nine dollars. Get escorted outside, yes. then pay another nine dollars to go see the next game. So what I'll do is and pay then 15. get escorted outside. And so with to gas see the three dollars a gallon, yeah. you can spend <laughs> another. Okay, so Ben, you you taught accounting. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make more sense for me to drive down there and watch it, or, or do the fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars on your TV, or Bam, you know, on there your, you uh, go. There you go. You can cast that on your big screen, yeah, man. Yeah, which is what I did. What today? It's cool. hey, do, they, <laughs> do they have announcers for the? Yeah, are they announcing? Yeah, it? cool. Yeah, it's nice, not, it's not like bad. Some nice graphics. Yeah, on, on your yeah they, they put the clock on there, Ray. I mean, it's all his teeth. <laughs> oh man! <Ooh>. Burn. <laughs> wow! Burn. 
stare and shots fired. Hey, you got the stare. <laughs> Hold on. I'm feeling a uh, dun, dun, dun. hotline number coming he up. Likes, oh, oh, I'm on the ticker. He like oh, 1-800. 1-800. <laughs> I'm so glad. Man. See, you just lobbed it up there, and I just <laughs> oh, all spiked it. Oh, man. Notice how I'm refraining. It's like Goose and Maverick, okay. right? It's I'm kind of that is, I, all these All these phones. I don't know why you can't just fill <laughs> Oh, that's so – it is kind of funny because uh, I've seen that <laughs> ass before on, on a – on a broadcast. <laughs> Miller's on assignment. He's that's on okay. assignment, I think. Ah, that's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you're hey, so will, will I get? Will I get punished like some city schools for the stuff that they do? Oh. <laughs> 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 Whatever do you mean? Uh, uh, like, hey, that one's still up. Yeah, yeah, that too that too wound's soon. a little fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, listen, this isn't a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> you come into the lion's den. <laughs> you come south of Mer- uh, the Merrimack, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. That south. smart virus. Uh, yeah. It's not a safe place. Yes, uh, apparently uh, uh, <laughs> there are no limitations in North County tomorrow night. That no, is correct. there's not. No, there's not. <laughs> pre-sale, and I, I want to say something about pre-sale. Whoa. Uh-oh. Whoa. What, what? Ray's like, I'm tired right. of you saw. guys talking. Yeah. I Put think that's going to be for a second. second. Is it 700 pre- pre- pre-sale? Pre-sale. Pre-sale. 700 pre-sale 700. How much is the capacity? Oh, gosh. What would they say, 2,000? Uh, at least, 1,500, yeah. 1,500, something yeah. like that. They're going to release yeah. another 500 tickets? Yeah. Wow. At, yeah. And this yeah. is for? Wow. This is for North County and Lutheran South Elite Eight game. Where's it at? Wow. We'll at be there. North County. We'll be it's there. at North County. At County. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, at North <laughs> that makes sense. That's, <laughs> yeah. Come on. You're way yeah. It's not like going south. up north and playing. Uh-uh. No. Going across the Merrimack, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's different. Mm-hmm. Okay. That, uh, you, so, you mm-hmm. you being at North County, that <laughs> yeah. that game uh, that game should be pretty good, I, I think. I think so. Um, I think, you know, just – Knowing just a little bit about what we've heard, because I've got several of the several of the boys in class, and you know, uh-huh. hey, what do you think? What's the what? All that, and they said, well, they, they got some size, and they've got like a, a couple kids that are six 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 seven six eight. Um, but I tell you, you've got a great tandem in in Conkride and Kekek right now, and that's cool. what you won in the playoffs. What a, what a nice have. transfer that was, huh? <laughs> yeah, come from Ellington. Oh, man. What yeah. a nice yeah. transfer North County got on both sides. Oh yeah, both okay, sides. got both you. Sides. Both uh-huh. sides. But Jackson, um, tell us to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jarvis. You're welcome. That's right. That's no, but it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> But no, I, I, I mean, it's just it's a great squad. They, now, I mean, yes, we can talk about Conkride coming in, but that group, the senior group. Very they've good. been good since they've been little. Oh, I agree because um, I got I think the, the analogy that I that I heard. So I was texting some other coaches from around the state today and uh, just asking, you know, what they thought about the game and stuff. And um, you know, they said they have two dynamic guards, mm-hmm. and then everybody else is just bought into their role, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, and they all play their role well. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, they do for our boys like Lawson, six seven, mm-hmm. and he he's done um, he's done a great job this year just in. Even in the sectional game, Borgia didn't have an answer for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, I, you know, our kids kind of do that too. I've said all along that Brian Lynn's probably one of the best kept secrets coaches in the St. Louis area. My son is five and a half, and I send him um, to tell Brian regularly. Coach Lynn, I'm going to play for you, right? You're going to stay around till I'm in high school, <laughs> and because because he just. I, I've never seen somebody get more out of like just average dudes and they and they turn into good basketball players and good basketball teams. And um, you know, I, I think uh, I think they're probably North County's probably similar to Viani who they played. Um, you know, uh, and I mean I, I think it's I think it's a toss. I mean you flip a coin, like the film I saw in North County and knowing our kids, uh it, it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll be the first time our boys have played in more in front of more than mm-hmm. you know 100 people. Um, and I'm <laughs> well, sure they've been doing that for quite a while down south. Yeah. So. Really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't see a newspaper article about it. <laughs> well, once again, you know they would have to that, travel. They would have to travel past the Joachim, past the <laughs> yeah. you know I had really several travel. water hey, sources what? they would have to cross. The virus can't make right turns. <laughs> so going south on 67. I mean, that's a, it can come down 55, yeah. but it just oh, can't, can't make the right turn. Right. Right. Yeah. They can stay, yeah, they can, I they like can stay that on one. 61, right? That's yeah. great. That's great. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, very good.
But yeah, I, I, I'm excited. Ray's. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm actually going to be in person. I'm going to take the kids down there. But otherwise, hey, I'd be watching it on, get there on early. live stream. Get there early. It's good to know that you're there. You're going to be there. <laughs> um, but they, uh, it, yeah, it, it's going to be. It, it's going to be what this time of year is all about. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, you go out, you're going to watch two teams lay it all on the line, and for the right to go to the final four. I mean, for the right <laughs> to go to the final four, it's exciting. I don't. North County have they ever been to the final four? No, not to this matter of fact, that, that last yeah. game against Sykes it was their first state playoff win. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Yeah. There's wow. a lot of teams. I yeah. mean, with the six classes now, mm-hmm. you'll give some. Wins. We were, Every, we were talking I, about I feel that. like it's. I, I mean, I don't want to say this in disrespect to anybody who's won their district. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like it's a little watered down because if you obviously have more winners. Yeah. So that means that I think it shines a lot. I see I hear you, but I think it shines a light on the fact that there are some really good programs that are within the same conference. So That's true. So so we'll just use uh, a Hillsborough a JCC and M Triple A, right? So you're talking most years. You know, you've got a Farmington, you've got a St. Jen, you've got a Central, you've got a North County, all within one district, right? And they're all really, really good teams, mm-hmm. but only one's coming out of that district. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. now you get to see the chance of, with Two, with three. 5A and 4A, you get to see the different the different types of, of schools and, and having some success I as still well. wish they'd reconfigure some of it so that you don't have districts, all these different numbers in the districts well, and all this other. That's geography. Yeah, and that's yeah. And, and, yeah. I, one of the things that I'm I'm a proponent on and is uh, I think championship factors should go to everybody. Now that's I'm not. Very, I was just going to ask. That. There's not, there, I, that's not popular though with with public school coaches. Correct. But here's 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 my thought on this. Hear me out on this. All right. Private schools can go unlimited, right? So if you're a class two by enrollment and you win, you can go. Mm-hmm. Well, let's take Walnut Grove, right? That's how many? One. How many? On the girls' mm-hmm. side, they've been at least seven out of the last uh, ten. Yeah, and uh, yeah, okay. the other one, mm-hmm. uh, Skyline. I mean, what's Skyline been to? Mm-hmm. Thirteen out oh, of fifteen wow. Final yeah. Fours or something. They're good, right? Why can't they? You know, they right. move up. So, but private schools, let's say, let's move them up unlimited, right? So you have a point they factor, rules. and play them yeah. on um, and charter schools. Yes, anybody with non-traditional <laughs> boundaries. Yeah. Yes, non-public. correct. So yeah. I got the question yeah. here because I'm the dummy here because yeah. I'm going to ask the stupid question. Why did they put that in place? To get rid of the multiplier. So, to get rid of the multiplier, um, and and you know, so it's okay. only for private schools. Yeah, it's only right. for private schools. Not charter. Yeah. Okay. No right. charter are on that now. Are but they like, on but like your magnet yeah. schools aren't on. Oh it, well, then that, or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, charters like, are part of it. Um, well, this is going to be so, a time for another ep- another episode. We kind of talked about this, but with that bill that's going through through the bill. state, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's it's going to be the wild west. Is that, that not going to be a free for all? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well, I don't think we can talk. Pass. We can talk about so, that. So, later, so, so, so tell you about so, Walnut Grove. Last yeah. ten years. Yeah. They've been to the final four eight times. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So why 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 can't they go up and see what they can do? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Agree. Um, why not? So. And and I will also say this. So so two things here, real quick. Public school. So private schools, we keep it as a six year span. What have you done last six years? Mm-hmm. So public schools, you go four years. So then you're not. Con- so if you get a good group that goes through, mm-hmm. you know those fall off pretty quick, mm-hmm. and they can only go two. So your public schools can go two. Your private schools go unlimited. Public schools are four. Private schools are six. It's still imbalanced for the private schools, which are fine. But I'll say this, in my career, now this is 19 years, three years with boys, um, and then, uh, you know, the last 16 years on the girls' side, some of the most blatant rule breakers have been public schools. Yeah. It's you know? huh. and, and you even look at huh. stuff out, you even look, now, you go, like, I, I love going to Springfield during the summer for summer basketball, mm-hmm. and I've sat in hospitality rooms with guys, and they look at me, and they point, and they go, man, you guys in St. Louis are awful all the problems in the state are because of you and they're you know and it's like yeah. you know a so they hate me one because i'm from st louis and then you throw in that i'm a st louis private school oh man i am awful yes right <laughs> but they'll you know they will uh you know shake your hand while they're kicking you while you're down so you know and they give me good barbecue in hey, the hospitality okay. room so they're they're, they're really they're really good at fighting <laughs> mailboxes 
<laughs> about finding Find, mailboxes? Finding. Yeah. Mailboxes. Oh, I thought you said oh, fighting. Yeah. I did too. Finding yeah. mailboxes. No houses on the lots is what you're trying to say. I'm just saying mailboxes. So, yeah. Yeah. so you can take that however you want. Yeah. You know, and Put it wherever I, you I want. saw this, and I'll ask since it's the two private guys here. I saw this on a post where they were talking about classifications, and it well, do you like the six class or do you not? Somebody had, had made a comment. They said, well, what do you think about – what do you think about having four public, four public classifications and then two private, a small and a big nope. private? So it won't it won't happen. And here's why: I had this explained to me. Mm-hmm. Um, one is as much as the public schools, the the private schools really fund Misha because the private schools offer a lot more sports than the public schools offer. Yes, okay. consistently, right? And the private schools have said, if you put us in our own class, there's no reason for us to be part of Misha. Okay. That we would leave Misha. And, and completely. do what? And do what? Start and their start own. their own organization. And okay. then Misha would fold because of the, the money that comes in from the private schools. Okay. And so, therefore, but, you wouldn't have a state governing So are you, saying, are you saying on, to add to that that you would create your own entity to have your own state title? Well, yes, that's, that's, that what and that's saying? what's happened in Texas. But, it, but I mean, what I've seen other states. Texas is the best example. But yeah. what I'm saying, is that what you're New saying? New York. That's what, that's what the private schools have said right. would happen. And would they do that would they, when they would have their own state championship? Does it Correct. have to be unanimous? Yeah. Well, then, if you're going to create your own state championships anyway, yeah. if they make that rule, you're, you're doing the same thing whether you're involved in Misha or not. So why <laughs> wouldn't you just do that? Dusty Weiskopf's up, Weiskopf's up here. He says, uh, must be nice to have a 30-mile radius. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look at how big his school saying? district is. It, yeah. You don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying. You're, okay, you're telling me. You're t- okay, so what I'm – maybe I'm yeah. mis- misunderstanding here. You're saying if they went to that, all the private schools are going to say, buy Misha. Yes. And then you're going to start your own organization, and you're going right. to have your own state championship. That's exactly what Misha's proposal – or not Misha, but that's exactly what a proposal would be. So we'll – whether you, if Misha went to the four and two, he's saying that it'd be governed by Misha. You'd have your own state championship as a private school. Yeah, right. Yeah. You would be in essence doing. Why that would you anyway. pay Misha money to do that when you do it on your own? Yeah, piss on them. I don't, That's I exactly what they're going to say. Yeah, yeah. your catastrophic insurance. We maybe go get it cheaper. Or we yeah. got to fund you guys up there. That's what they're going to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, really. Yeah. Wait, but, why? You're, but you're doing it anyway is what I'm saying. Well, if you Correct. do that, you're, you're, but you're being forced to do it. Right. Yeah. And and here's the but other. What if thing. they said? Then open it up. Open what? There is no thirty mile now, thirty mile radius. Well, and that's, that's, and here's not the, the other, that's not the here's biggest the other thing, thing that's no. going to happen. If you did that, the private schools would take the rules off, and it would be open season. Right. That's what I'm saying. Why not so, do that? But, but Have the public your own schools, classifications. But the, and that's but the it. public schools don't want that. If the private schools say we're forming our own organization, you can mm-hmm. go after any kid you want. Right. You all right? If let's say Herky, if right. if he gets your best player, right? That's gonna what, happen. What, reper- hey. what repercussions do you Almost. get? Almost, and it's gonna happen and if that bill goes through. He's gonna right. he's gonna be able to do it right. with no limitations because there's right. gonna be no undue influence because we're our own organization and uh-huh. the hence the why, schools. in my opinion, go have your own state title. Then it means yeah. That, you but know that's I mean? that's what we're saying. You're yeah. you're gonna end up with your the public schools are gonna get picked apart. Yeah. If that happens, Kevin Holly's got a post here. the The new organization would create their own rules, not follow Mish's. Exactly. That's yeah. That was my point. Mm-hmm. You know, and there wouldn't be any undue <laughs> but influence. Then, but then you're still picking the kids because you're not a part of Misha. That's what I'm saying. You're still yeah. going to pick Same. those kids. Yeah. Because like, there's no so, there's no law there's no enforcement of well you can't recruit kids now. Well you're not a part of Misha. So who says you can't? That's what that's what I'm saying. You yeah. guys are. It's just a circular argument. Yeah. You're, you're literally doing the exact same thing that that you know so that like I'm bringing us, up. So like it's just us, you either ath- have a mission ban or you don't. At, so athletically for us, like we, I tell people all the time, we're like the most public private school there right. is. Mm-hmm. You know, like something like eighty or ninety percent of our kids come out of our seven Lutheran feeder schools, and those kids have never stepped foot in a public school since they've been in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. I mean, my kid's one of them. He's he's going to to kindergarten, and he'll go through. CCLS and Mm -hmm. and so like are am I actually taking that kid from you if he was never in your district to begin with no school yeah but it isn't so they're not all (laughs) like yours right they're not not all all not all private schools I agree with you you could go to other private schools and ask Mm -hmm. and but my thought and this is my opinion I could care less if you said 
we're gonna we're gonna separate and say privates you can do your own thing you can have your own state championship if you want to open it up it's a wild west have and everybody public private have as many contact days as you want but you're not you're not going to play the public schools conference no conference you're not you're unless a conf, unless a public school wants to play you they don't have to. Well, that wouldn't happen because then you wouldn't be affiliated. Like the the privates wouldn't give no. Misha any money at all. They're, why? That would, why? We just play all the other schools that are private and don't yeah. play. They're not affiliate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't play is. Misha schools. They mm-hmm. play in their own league. Yeah. You would just join with them. That right. would that would recoup your numbers from leaving Misha. You'd, home, you'd form your own and league and be done. Let me be a lot right. more travel for private schools like mm-hmm. Valley. St. Vincent, Pius, right. uh, yeah, you'd be. But it's give and take. But if if you're saying then, great, I can I can cherry pick and I can go anywhere I want to recruit any type of kid. Hey, I need a I need a six six three hundred pound lineman, and I hear there's one in so and so's district. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go recruit. Why? I mean, you don't think that stuff happens right now, or what? Well, so, of yeah. I mean, seriously. Wait, <laughs> yeah. wait, wait. It's not. A, it's not a private thing. It's not. It, it's not a private school thing. Right. It, and I don't care who's watching. I don't care who's listening. I was in public school and, and was there for 14 years. Don't act like this crap doesn't happen over on that side of it. And it's all the privates, and it's all your fault. So those guys, if it had been me, I told them where to stick it because that's just <laughs> absolutely crazy. And that's, I mean, I've seen this part of it. Mm-hmm. I can't. I got to watch what I say to a kid who's shadowing, and they might be a, a band kid. Mm-hmm. But if I say the wrong thing, oh my gosh, it's undue influence. Mm-hmm. But I can have. I know for a fact that there's other public schools who go and cherry pick somebody who doesn't even live in their damn district, mm-hmm. and they'll get those guys, and they'll live somewhere else, and it's mm-hmm. okay. It's okay, but it's you guys who are doing it. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, and it doesn't mean I, I said the same thing before I even started working at Pius. Mm-hmm. That's the part that's messing up for everybody. So let me let me ask you this. So once you deal with the private schools that are that are picking kids off, right? There might, may or may not be a school that I played last night that had five kids that, as of August, were not enrolled in that school, uh-huh. right? And what was the what was the common? All right, so and, I, and I said this earlier. I'm good. Here you need some. Here you need this earlier. Sweet neck. I've got a kid who legitly transferred for non-athletic reasons. It was the best thing for that kid to transfer, right? And. And she's penalized. Mm -hmm. She has to sit for 365 days. Mm -hmm. She doesn't get to play varsity. Mm -hmm. Okay? But then you go look, and and what is the common theme? Well, all five of these kids played for this coach during the summer. Right? They have a connection. I had no connection to this kid. I didn't know anything about her. I had to go watch film on her the day that I got a phone call from our admissions people that this kid had applied. Right? So... These five kids all have connections to this coach, right? Their school was potentially not going to have basketball, so they found a way to go. So how is that anything but athletic? How is that? No matter if I'm taking care of grandma or I am, uh, you know, whatever the reason. And, you know, it's a perfect storm. It's it's virtual. And, and I'm of the feeling, and I, I said this to my athletic director, um, I have a feeling, you know, I'm of the feeling that next year, if anybody's virtual, they shouldn't be eligible for athletics, right? And and he said, well, we've already opened Pandora's box. But that was part of what led to these kids making it easy for them to end up there, it's true. right? Um, the Hazelwood Central coach, who her kid, who leaves every day after school, drives, the kid lives like three houses down the street from Hazelwood Central, and watches her go out of her house, get in her car to go to practice at this other school, right? But because she can attend virtual, she doesn't have to, you know. That's right. So, I, you know, there, there's a lot of issues. Like I said, I've seen, um, you know, I, I saw another school at the public school conference that I was in when I was a public school coach. They went to a final four, ten kids on their rosters, eight of them did not live in the district. There's another big-time private school, or I mean public school, that drew a line in the sand that said we're not going to play private schools. Meanwhile, they benefited from going to pro- Final Fours with kids that didn't live in their district, right? So, you know, so, so my question is once you get rid of us, mm-hmm. what do you do about those schools? I don't. 
and that's part of that house bill that's going through with the open enrollment. Yeah. That, that you know, whether it's public education or whether it's MISHA, that yeah. they're wanting to, hey, call your, you know, call your congressman and talk to him about it. But Well, guys, we're going to have to probably table that one because yeah, that's a good big, job, Zach. You opened up Pandora's box. Sorry. Gosh, it's yeah. You know, me and him I mean, are gonna we're gonna fight that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just poked the bear on purpose. Like, hey, look at here, and just did it. Right. Didn't and, care, just did it. Hey. And, and I look here. It's a gen we got to give for. the people what they want. <laughs> a gen we planned for, and everybody like, let's get a gen going. It's like, oh hey, look at this. It's like I'm just gonna just. I I, I kept it. looking. I think this isn't on the engine. It's not. It's yeah. not yeah. a list. Well, it goes out. Are you saying we're that off the rails? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and it wasn't and it wasn't me, Chris, or Blair <laughs> that did it. Hey, hey and, and the last thing I'll say about this, yeah, t- timer expires. Um, you know, if you took percentage of private schools and percentage of public schools, I bet that the number is equal or greater to, in both places, the number of schools that are doing it wrong. Or, uh, and like I with Pius, I look at Pius like us. Like I don't see these elite athletic kids i see them as you know they're kind they get kids that want to come to school there and they the coaches <laughs> generally work with them and you know and granted I, I mean i live in jefferson county i pay jefferson county taxes and you know i'm in a jefferson county school district but um but so so i understand there's this this stigma about pious for people who are jefferson county people right mm-hmm. i understand that but i mean like I said, for, for us, we're the most public private school you're going to run into. And I, I, I will not say that I'm, I'm naive enough to say that there aren't people that are, that are not doing things the right way. Man, Blair, you're but. awful quiet. Just listen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he said made idiot. one thing, not one comment over there on his I have a great watch. comment here. Kevin Holly. great discussion. It's like McVeigh insulted the flex offense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we won't tell them what we're working on. When they see something other than flex from you next year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Carolina. Is it East Carolina? <laughs> North Carolina? North? South Carolina? South? You'll see. <laughs> Change everything now. <laughs> Change it. You can throw you guys a sky reports out the window. <laughs> it's <laughs> both Carolinas. Both, yeah. Either but, way. I, I mean, I love this discussion. I, I think the world of you guys, too, mm-hmm. you know, as coaches, what you guys do. Um, I, I have public school roots. I taught 11 years. I coached eight years in, in public school. So I, I definitely see I was one of those guys that my kids were never um, – my kids were never going to go to a private school. I mean, I grew up in public school. Um, and for me, now that I have kids – you know, the faith aspect is really important for me, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. I want, you know, I'm going to have to send my kids out into the world to mm-hmm. defend their faith <laughs> yep. early enough. Yep. So for me, that, I don't want to send them somewhere for 8 to 10 hours a day mm-hmm. that's going to potentially be teaching them something that's in direct conflict with what I'm teaching in my home. Mm-hmm. So, so that, that for me, but I, but I know there's great guys like you yeah. that would be there if, if I did have to do that. And um, so yeah, so it, man, it, it's a great discussion. I, you know, I, I like the fact that we can have like mm-hmm. very, you know, educated discussion, mm-hmm. um, and, you know, not try to cancel each other. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I, I mean, what you're trying to say is you make us look a lot smarter than we really are. <laughs> That's what That's you're trying to say. Well, I know Miller was over I was there wondering if he was calling Jarvis by Mr. a skunk. So. Well, if he was calling Jarvis Mr. Potato Puppy Head or something. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell you right now. That's, that, that, somebody, I'll tell, anytime that something like this happens, they put those news articles out on Facebook. The uh-huh. comments that come after that that uh-huh. people take pictures of, oh, the Internet always wins. Uh-huh. I just want oh, you guys yeah. to know the Internet uh-huh. always yeah. wins. Yeah. Yeah. I, la- I giggle. My oh, wife. Oh, my gosh. She's like, what are you laughing at? I'm like, you, it's <laughs> comments. The Internet uh-huh. always wins. That's uh-huh. my comment. You yeah. know. Also. Kevin Holly's going to call Coastal Carolina. Costal. Hey, there's another one. Costal. Uh-huh. Costal oh. Carolina. That's what he put. Costal. Costal. Ron Rhodes. Yeah. Coach Ron Rhodes. Yeah. Yeah. Lex is there awesome. You go. He Hope he's right. doing well. How about the one-two-two two defense? Oh. I think he called. I, <laughs> I think, think he knows a little bit about that. I think that. Coach uh, Rhodes called Flex Old Man, if I remember right. Was that what? That it was, was a man. Like, no, well, no, that was no. Was that something else? That was something right? else. That was a that was a hip yeah. handoff from yep. the post. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Old yep. man and old man two. Yeah. yeah, man, could you go? It's yeah. 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 All break. right, hey, we gotta move on to some stuff. Yeah, okay? right. sideline breaks. I'm another sorry. one. Yeah, yeah. Good. Hey, way to go, Zach. 
I know my commercials promised Cardinals, Matt Carpenter. All right, so let's talk about the Cardinals. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right. Oh. Swing and a miss, is, Matt. Swing yeah. Dude, All I know is miss. we're doing. If he goes 0 and 16, we're doing the Bull Durham. He's, know, hey, he's there. Donut hole for tomorrow. 0 16. Yeah. Pitchers are hitting for the first time in the spring. Oh geez. Adam Wainwright's on the mound. Oh, well, he's a good hitter. Who has more hits, Matt Carpenter or Adam Wainwright? Yeah. Wainwright. <laughs> <laughs> Wainwright. If I'm going to bet him, man, I'm going to put it on Wainwright. I mean, I just can't. Why are I'm we? a numbers guy. I'm uh, a stat guy. I know, I know the money factor, but gosh dang it. Quit You're, trying hey, to play him. But, uh, listen, but you heard Mo the other day. He the, he was asked this question. Why is he getting so many at He's going to ask this question a lot. Uh, um, <laughs> Well, he said, "Hey guys, it's only what week two of games. You know, be patient. Be pa-. that was the theme. Be patient. Be patient. We've been be patient, patient for how many years I, now? I, I, I'm just repeating what the, what the I man know what said. The but, he said but, but he said, but he said, hey, if this is what's happening come the end of spring training, then obviously discussions will will have to. You know, oh, see. Yeah. you know we'll who's see. having a pretty good spring uh-huh. is uh, Lane Thomas. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see him well, in the outfield. Still, and yeah. they're not talking about him being in the mix. So they, I mean, they've decided who the three outfielders well, are. Well, Justin Williams, Bro hit, Neal. Justin Williams hits a home Bro. run. Bro. Yeah. Bro I, Neal. I think. I mean, he's a left hand hitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, Carpenter's a left hand hitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Who would you uh, many outfielders yeah. to yeah. take though? Too many to keep. Well, I mean, that's, I want to bat off the I'm, bench if I got to go I double understand switch. That. Here's what I'm yeah. more worried about. I'm more worried about the starting five. I'm start worried about the rotation. See, I'm oh. not. Here, here, and it's funny. Huh? All right. So, check oh, this out. man. Just put All Reyes right. out there. I'm so they're sick not. of this. No. They're not. They, oh. want him, they want him next year. They they see him stepping in, and he's they going, want to build his he's, in. He's 6'7 guy. He's 5'6", yeah. 6'7". Six, six, That's it. But Johan Oviedo. Oviedo. Yeah. I mean, John Gant's actually having a really good spring too. He has though, but and, he, and he's, he's the guy that goes in, bullpen. and that's why he's. And that's the thing. That's the thing. He's he's too good at what he does. They want him to piggyback, but you know what? You and can, they need a ground ball pitcher. Yeah, but in you the can, bullpen, you can put you can put Reyes in Gant's spot. You won't get the ground balls per se. Yeah. But it's somewhere he come in. He's got pitch to his swing three. and miss. He's got swing and, and swing miss and stuff. Miss. Uh, hey, Gant, can, Gant, Gant can be a starter and get five. And you're I getting know. Hicks back. You got Henesis Cabrera yes. back there. You got Helsley Gio. back there. Yep. You I got know. yeah. Was it a, is it the Parsons kid? The guy yeah, from he's having middle big of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, I was Adrian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, and they said that that guy mm-hmm. only walked seven seven people in high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then he, he only walked – or in college, excuse me. In college, he only walked seven in four That's years. That's even more well, impressive. And, the other, and, and then he goes yeah. – yeah. And then he had in, – in, in 190 innings in each level of the minors, four, four levels the year before last, he only walked 20. See, wow. this is something that I have confidence in the Cardinals being able to do, and that's develop pitching. Yeah, pitching. Because yeah, uh, Cody Whitley in the bullpen too. I mean, but that, uh, we're all talking Junior bullpen. Fernandez. We're all talking bullpen. We're yeah, but, so wait, 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 you, you don't can have move to. Gant. You, yeah, if you move Gant, that's what I'm saying. You move Gant I, in. I think he's too um, much. He's too much of a foundation. You can start guy. Gant, and you can you can piggyback all these guys. Woodford for the first Woodford month. pitched well he last year. The whole year. Woodford pitched well. <sighs> I, I mean, I think you're going to be all right. I start Reyes. They're stupid. <laughs> Let me have the controls for a minute. Daring, I think, I think Daring just popped in. He says Gant stepping in for Michaelis. In yeah, the story. and, and <sighs> Gant's the type of guy, and the Cardinals have had this guy. Think about this. They, they've come out of nowhere. They've taken mm-hmm. some type of position, and they've embraced it and run with it, right? Mm-hmm. Gant's that, Gant could be that guy in the rotation this year. Well, he's done uh, yeah. that already in the in the bullpen. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. But I – you, you guys are going to think I'm crazy with this, but I think that Martinez is going to have a good year. Carlos? I yeah. think he, he, he wants money. He, he, yeah. he wants money. This is his contract year. Yeah. You watch. He'll be minding his P's and Q's for the most part. He'll have different color hair probably, but he'll <laughs> he'll be fine. And I, and I think what the Cardinals have done, because, you know, they were talking about what they could do. What the Cardinals have done that a lot of teams haven't is they've left themselves flexibility both in the assets of uh, trade chips, mm-hmm. right, prospects. They're, that's a commodity in baseball. Mm-hmm. Um, and in monetary flexibility. So if they're struggling and they're there and there's somebody to be had, they, they can go get that person. Uh, they did. You know? And they had somebody they could have picked up, and they didn't. You, you're talking about oh, Odorizzi? Yeah. Odorizzi. Yeah. 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 The pride of Highland, Illinois. Uh, but – is he Illinois better guy. than and I, and I heard uh, Greg Amzinger said on uh, ESPN this morning that uh, that he thinks ten years from now mm-hmm. that the Cardinals 
will have won the Randy Rosarena trade. He thinks that Matthew Libertor is that good that he's going to be that he could potentially right. be better than what Wainwright was. Well, in his they were talking about Libertor as being a possibility. He's not. Yeah. He's not even on the forty. Well, I know, yeah. but I mean, Zach people Thompson. Are like, yeah. Zach Thompson. We? I mean, yeah. we have elite pitching, and and I think what they want to do with Thompson and Libertor is they they kind of probably have an idea that Flaherty's walking when he's done. Oh yeah. So if you he hold is. those guys off another year. Mm-hmm. Then you've got this right. top end guys, and well, I think you know. we got the best third baseman in the league, in Matt Carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you haven't said anything for like thirty minutes, <laughs> and that's, and that's the craft that you come up with? Uh, I do. I stir a little bit. I didn't get to stir uh, a little. Right. Did I you just see stir? There. I already the said Matt Carpenter sucks. Well, I wanted to hear what you had to say about. <laughs> Did you see the play that that Arenado made it. yesterday? Oh my goodness! Yes, no, I get to see oh. it. I mean, oh. he's just unreal. Oh. I, I mean, and and they said the car the Cardinals might have at least top three, but they might have the best defense in the National mm-hmm. League. Mm-hmm. Be, and even Shocked even with their mm-hmm. offensive woes, Bader and O'Neal, yeah. I mean, they can flat they can flat flash the leather. Okay, well, but th- that is not an excuse to let O'Neal just have the left field job to me. When Lane what? Thomas no. can probably not, play, though. just because he got a, a, a gold glove, I still think if Lane Thomas is outperforming him. Here, but yeah. they were talking about this on the radios we were coming in tonight. They are talking about how analytics – is ruining the fan, the fandom of baseball. Yeah. So, and they had Theo Epstein, and they were talking about how, hey, he was the guy that, one of the major guys that that broke it into the league and pushed for it and won, and then he's now because he's with on the other side, he's with Major League Baseball, saying that yes, from a from a market from a program perspective, it makes total sense. From a fan, from an enjoyment standpoint, makes absolutely no, no sense. sense. And so yeah. that's why they're looking at O'Neill. No, it's I all, I it's will tell all you analytics. This. Yeah, and I will tell you this. Like, the analytics people love Bader, too. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, and my eyes were open to this. I didn't realize this. Um, you know, Jackie Bradley Jr. got a, got a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You're paying Bader <laughs> the minimum. Mm-hmm. And Bader's actually got better numbers, mm-hmm. better defensive better uh, defense. analytics, and – and by by the numbers, if you put the numbers on the page and you said which player do you want, mm-hmm. you'd pick Bader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from a defense, he he doesn't need to hit. He he does not need to hit if the other guys around Wait, hit. I didn't he mention doesn't need Bader. I was hey, listen, mentioning O'Neill. Yeah, yeah. listen, right. just just put the bat on the ball a couple times. Put play. Hey. Well, and look at what Marco Gonzalez has done in Seattle, and that's why they need they need something because they we've that. Uh, Moe's lost some trades, right? He's got to yeah. win some trades. So if you say, oh, this is our – look, I picked this wait, guy. Wait, he, got he, a can, gold wait, he can lose every trade for the next five or six years because he basically got Arenado for nothing. and $60 million yeah, right. for a bag of balls right. and a couple of bats. You mean yeah. like T.J. Matthews for Mark McGuire? <laughs> yeah, or how about same. Kent Bottenfield for Jim Oh, for Jim yeah. That's a great <laughs> trade. Jim Edwards was a great <laughs> trade. Bottenfield won 21 games, and they <laughs> traded him thinking, oh, this guy is just broke on the scene. He didn't do jack crap. Well, you Rest know why? Them. He was with the master, Dave Duncan. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Dave Duncan. See, Dave Duncan. Those, Carries. Broken veterans, man. Yeah, he t- I'm he interested to see what the Chicago White Sox do this year yeah. with hey, Russo. So here, here's what I thought the other day. My he might fall asleep at a stoplight, but go <laughs> ahead. Hey, so how ironic is it that the number one drinking fans in Major League Baseball were the White Sox, and now Tony La is their manager? <laughs> do you think that was predetermined? Oh, <laughs> is that like, is that like a match made in good, heaven? Hey, good thing Tony doesn't watch the show. <laughs> yeah. He might be offended. He might. And yes, uh, yes, Kevin Halley, Marp would definitely be the third baseman of a Miller Jarvis Blair's men league. <laughs> yes, because all I can play is catcher <laughs> and softball. Softball, yeah. man, not fast. I wish Sun Valley slow. was still open. Oh my gosh, don't get me started. Go to Wolves. Have you ever played Let's a Wolves? Hey, we got two. Great. I did. I played tournaments oh. there. All right, I used hey, in my twenties. Sun Valley was great. Moving on. We didn't talk about you guys' all past right. life no. of softball. Hey, we got six here. We. We're, we're, we're halfway home to a team here. Oh. Slow pitch softball. Hey, man. There's only one thing I can do is pitch. That's oh. it. That's good. There you go. Give me the ball. All right, so, so Dak, Prescott. Oh, oh, my gosh. Let's talk a little bit about this. It's from pro money. sports. Uh, you were, you were talking way, about. How the about, internet won that again. That <laughs> how about the cap? The cap goes down, down. $15 million. Yeah. Down $15 million. 190 yep. whatever. Now it's 182 or 185 Yeah, I mean. 
and and then they and give this, yeah. Dak that much money. You've got so much money tied up on three players. So what are you going to do? How are you going to protect Dak Prescott? You're not. You're going to play three on yeah, 11, Yeah, ask, ask the Chiefs because they just cut two of their offensive linemen. The guy who was the former number one pick because they have cap problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Dak plays that – Contract? contract out no. in Dallas, or do you think he's requesting to be traded? I oh, think he'll he's going to get the hell beat out of him. One or two yeah. years. He might have to, I I think leave, how long? Well, how, what was it, four years? It's four years. Four, four years. He'll go two, and then they'll, so, they'll trade. Or they'll give him an extension see, or I, rework the I, deal. I say this, though. I, quarterback, I think, at the NFL is a little bit overrated. And here's why I say that. And it goes back to, once again, the money. Brady's taking a pay cut to help build a roster around him. Yeah. And that's what helps him win, right? Who would you take? Don't look at the records. Don't look at any. Look at the, the quarterback and the, you know, their stats. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Would, no, would you rather no, take I'm Mahomes? <laughs> would you rather take Mahomes or Brady? Mahomes. Based Obviously, on. based not off of not off of salary, this, that, just pure athleticism, pure. Mahomes. Exactly. Okay, great. Everybody's going to take Mahomes. Sure. However, if they just proved it, you're not winning with that type of elite quarterback that is well, commanding that ring. much money. Right. He's well, got right. a ring. I understand that, but going money. forward, going yeah. forward. Well, you can't you can't occupy your team. They, they yes. said this is a good question. So the, the teams with the two worst cap issues mm-hmm. in the NFL are the Kansas City Chiefs mm-hmm. and the Detroit Lions. Why are they on – Two different sides because Detroit doesn't draft well. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kansas City draft well. So what do you got to do? You got to go out and sign a bunch of free agents to come there. You overpay for people yeah, that you can get, get in the third third mm-hmm. round and have cost control mm-hmm. for four mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. Yes. So teams that draft well don't have these problems. That's number mm-hmm. one. Number mm-hmm. two, whenever you have a quarterback who, yeah, they want paid, but they're not going to go. It's like every time a new deal comes out, that's that's the new that's the new mark. Yep. So. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, uh-huh. I got, okay. Pat Mahomes. Okay, Dak Prescott. Uh-huh. It's like I got to uh-huh. one up the dude. Uh-huh. No, you right. don't. I look. Just Not give if me you want to win. Just give me my money. Right. Don't let me die right. so I can at least walk when I'm forty. But that's the yeah. debate. That's the whole debate. This is debate. It's 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 ridiculous. But if you're those guys it. personally, personally, you're going to say, "Yeah, show me the money." See, I you're think going to say that. You're going to say, "Oh, you're going to pay me." So, so whenever everybody says that Tom Brady is not the greatest of all time, he's probably the greatest yes. teammate of all yes, time. Exactly. He's and not only the yes. greatest quarterback because yeah. he's won. Right. He takes the money. Take right. less money right. for the championship. Yes. Uh, he don't need the money. His well, wife, well, you know what? Are you saying when his wife wait, makes wait, more wait. than him? But then, yes. Then I guess yeah. you better try to uh, recruit but, better for uh, all, uh, for a wife. Deals. Yeah. Right there, you go. It's Brady's all about recruiting all over here. <laughs> all about recruiting. Yeah. Right, Brady's deals are all guaranteed, though, too. That's why they're less money. Yes. Yeah. Because, because, like, and and maybe that's the issue in the NFL. Maybe mm-hmm. that's part of the problem is that you have these deals that Given aren't guaranteed, mm-hmm. right? So that so yeah, you got to be thirty-five million a year, but you're not going to get you well, know. Well, and I think these, that's why someone like Dak. Mm-hmm. who may get hurt at any mm-hmm. point, is going to want to make sure he gets that big number mm-hmm. and at first gets that the guaranteed money. Do you know and he that, took out an insurance policy on himself? I don't blame him. And so, so the year he got hurt, and he, oh, what he, how many ever many games he missed last year, mm-hmm. he, uh, got, he got paid his salary because he was out no. because Affleck. of the insurance That's policy he took. Affleck. That's the same thing with college kids. You know, they take out insurance on themselves if they get, you know, if they're going to be a draft so, pick. Talking about big contracts, how about uh, what was it? The uh, what's the company that Tatis Jr. signed with? Oh, um, I know what you're. I can't remember it. Uh, I'll look it up. I've got it here, but he's he's got like he's given a percentage because he took a oh yeah he took a a payment up front. Yep. And um, yeah, what was that? Uh, gosh, we were just he, talking he's about. He's given that. up a bunch of money. Yeah. To them. For endorsements, you're talking about? No. Or for the no. Padres? No, because he took uh, money up front. Because when your cost yeah. control is a baseball player, mm-hmm. you don't make a lot. Right. Yep. You're not. You're not. Mm-hmm. So he bet on himself. Pretty much. And so Boris advises his clients never to take this money. And the name of the organization. Um. Let's see. A uh, firm that invested in him. Big League Advance is the That's name it. of the company. Mm-hmm. And so basically, they started out. They started. Um, with like it was like some like 
I don't know, three or four million dollar investment initial capital, but they're going to get 26 million. Or no, they gave a total of 26 million to seven, 77 baseball players in 2017. So 26 million was their initial investment. And now Gosh. they're out of his $340 million, they're going to get, um, well, they get anywhere from 1% to 12% depending on the, uh, the I'm player. I'm in the wrong business. Tatis's deal, $27.2 million. So they're going to make their initial investment back plus a million dollars just off of Tatis. Nice. And then whatever else they get on anybody else. Mm-hmm. On, well, they got 76 yeah. other guys. So they could miss on, right now, they could miss on 50 of those guys. Blair, I got but a great <laughs> business idea. <laughs> but their <laughs> analytics, yeah, yeah. And, and everybody's, like, saying it's so, oh. it's so crazy that he would take it because his dad was in the big leagues. And, mm-hmm. um, I'm but, just yeah. trying to open up basketball, volleyball courts facility over here in Peevely. That's all I'm working on. Wait, about. we're going to Peevely? I'm working on I was on. thinking up at Gravelly Bluffs. I don't, I don't these guys. They, got, have the, they got the sports center up there, right? All right, right, off, right by Hey, moving way. on. Let's finish right, the pro right. talk here. <laughs> Blues. Uh, just got the, the – Bennington. Up, Bennington's new extension. How many years? Six. Six, six. for 36. Something, or something like that. Like that. Yeah. I didn't see the numbers yet, but I did see that. Six years. I think that's a good – I think it's a good deal. I think it locks them up. I hope it's a good deal. I, I think it is. I mean, I if somebody says – What well, do you mean I, you hope it's a good deal? He won the freaking cup. Okay. He, he could. He, he could does not the rest have of his a, life. He has hey, no one in front Matt of him Carpenter right now. Matt Carpenter got either. MVP votes. Did he win anything? <laughs> I mean, did he get it? We won a pennant, right? He hammered Clayton Kershaw, got us <laughs> to the World Series. <laughs> okay. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> that, how many I think years that's ago? That? Was that six bring, years ago. I think that's what Blair's bringing up is for that. I mean, what do you mean, Bennington? Going forward, Bennington. Going forward. Oh, he'll be fine. Uh, it, 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 right now, they're not very good because they're so all Jake hurt. Allen. So was Jake Allen. Yeah. When the first, first They've had good years. goalies. Well, really I good. think what they're finding out this year is how valuable Jake Allen was as a backup, right? Right. Billy Huso is not great. Oh, my gosh. At all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. But they did just go 4-0-2 oh, on that yeah, I, mean, and I was Western just going to say, trip. they just went 4-0-2, oh, and, and he's over they are, they are, oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Look. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you watch hockey? What? They wow. went 4-0-2 Dude, on the I like you guys. Uh, we, what do you mean? we need a Do segment, Ray, hockey? of just these two guys doing impersonations of each other. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, would be, that would be <laughs> great. Unbelievable. I think I could do a Jarvis Jarvis impersonation. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, aside from hey. the fact I don't like overtime losses. Yeah. Well, so what? ridiculous. Though. Listen, Bennington's not going anywhere, obviously, now. Bennington can go anywhere he wants to right now. And get a beer from anybody sure. because he won a sure. cup. Yeah. Same thing for same Pat thing Maroon. for Patty Maroon. Patty Maroon. I don't care who he plays for. From here on out, he'll be the hometown hero. It, you know. It, I mean, they they're going to be all right. They've got they're, a lot of guys who are banged up. If, if you take yeah. you take that many yeah. guys off your top lines, yeah. and yeah. be that be injured, you wouldn't yeah. say they'd be second place in the division. For them no. to do what they just did. Oh, I, I with mean, with who they put, who they had on on the ice. Unbelievable. I mean, they were bringing up guys from the AHL. Yeah. Like, oh, this is this guy's debut. Yeah. That's Who is this guy? I, that's why I'm saying jo- about Bennington. Yeah. That's why I'm like. Joshua. Oh. That but, Joshua kid. I'm like, what? But he's got, he's got defensemen who've never played a game yeah. that he's had in front of him. Right. I know. I'm for Bennington, okay. dummy. I don't know why you keep arguing with me. I'm just saying be arguing general. with him. I'm just me. saying in general. <laughs> it's just in general. I'm not. <laughs> look, gosh. Hold on. Is there, is there a ding, 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 ding? It keeps looking like you're arguing with me. Round one. I'm like, I. I'm saying Bennington has not had anything in front of him the last several games, yeah, and he's had a couple of let's, nobodies. <laughs> let's let's see. Let's all right. So true or false? We can agree this, right? That this Blues team has an 06 Cardinals feel to them, right? True. Injured most of the season. Okay. So I guess the ultimate test is when we get everybody healthy and they go into the playoffs. What happens? Well, I hope that Does they're he hoisting stand on the his cup. head. <laughs> you, you hope they catch fire like they did. Yeah. yeah. Well, two I years mean, ago. It, it. Look, momentum is a crazy thing, and in mm-hmm. hockey, it's it's, it's crazy. It's everything. It's different in hockey because seven game series, the Stanley Cup playoffs is a marathon. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it probably is. one of the and hardest things it's to win. The hard. The, it's, yeah. To me, it's the hardest cup. It's the hardest championship in the world to win. It's I agree. and I, I believe it's, it's one of the best brutal. to watch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, I the love fact that ESPN hockey. got hockey just 
I mean, Mickey Mouse has everything right now. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. just, yeah. 35% he of the world's entertainment now That's became he, 40, yeah. Yeah. if not more. Last, last episode. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. unreal, but I very wise move. Disney Plus, but anyway. Yeah. Well, you're missing it. So yeah. one of the things, what I love about hockey is the grind. What I hate about baseball is you play every day during the regular season, and then – yeah, in the playoffs, you get every other day off, and you're you get multiple days off, and it's crazy because then when we lost to the Nationals in the uh, in the NLCS that year, mm-hmm. what did they use like three pitchers or four pitchers in that entire series? Yes. Yep, like that's ridiculous. Like baseball should make you if you're in that wild card, play three in a row and mm-hmm. handicap mm-hmm. the person, and then revenue share if you don't get a home game. Right? It's true. But but I and I think that's why hockey's so cool is it, it's that grind. And it mirrors the regular season. Yes. Maybe even is harder than the regular season. No, yes. it, it has to be harder. Not only that, you go from having these overtime games where you're playing three on three hockey, you're still playing, playing five on five hockey in the playoffs. Yeah. So yeah, to get the games over with, you're doing three on three, and then we're gonna do a shootout, and it's like okay, everybody's going home. You get your two points, you get your one for your overtime loss. Stupid, but either <laughs> way, we'll take it right now. So. I- I remember the Steve, the Stevie Y goal for the Red Wings. Oh. I remember laying in my bed oh. as, as like so you know worse. teenager listening to the games right. And we still on radio, and like thinking, oh, this is awesome. This is the year. The and then I the goal it. happened, yeah. and that like ripped my oh, heart yes. out of my chest. What happened to the Blues fans for years? <laughs> I mean, come on. Wait, How about wait. the year they what they had? They won the President's Cup. Oh with, uh, yeah, oh. And 2000. We're like, yes, two thousand. Yeah. yeah, we're like, all right, us. this is – Yep, no. yep. No. down in South Iron, we have the post dispatch. We're sitting there just looking like, oh, my gosh, this is great. And we all go home and watch. We all go to each other's house and watch. And it was literally the biggest letdown of all time. Yeah. God, who yeah. is the freaking Jonathan Quick? Yeah. He just ripped our heart out of our yeah. ear. That our, was his uh, rookie year, I believe, too, was if I remember it? right. Yep. Man, he got hot. Um, he got hot. Ugh. I was going to say, though, I mean, the, the, the biggest heartbreak for me is a Blues fan because – I loved Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, oh, sure. And yeah. to have him here, mm-hmm. yeah. he still lives in St. Louis. Yep. Yes, he does. And he left because Mike Keenan sucks. <laughs> well, yeah. that Mike Keenan thing was a – Mike Keenan show. is a – never mind. It's a family show. Hey, speaking of goal scorers, <laughs> though, Tarasenko's back. Yes. yes. Yep. So Hopefully he's healthy and he's back to Hopefully what he Hopefully he just stays healthy. Just stay healthy. Gosh. Gosh. You know, well, yeah. it's it, it's good to see him. And then as we get more guys, I think Schwartz is getting back. Schwartz so, is back on the ice yeah, today, so that's all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think you hit is Kyrou hurt head. too? Still, or is he health? Is he back? No, he's he's, he's, he's not been back. Playing. But oh, or he's not been playing. No, and, uh, Pareko didn't week. he go Pareko's out? Pareko's still, still out. out. Yeah. yeah, that hurts. They got so many <laughs> hurts guys big hurt. Bozak's yeah. still out. Yep. Um, Schwartz still you out. You got you got crazy about your top three defensemen. Your defensive defensemen. Out. So then what do you do from a coaching perspective to help Bennington? What would you guys do? Um, is, there a, is there a change in – I don't know hockey well what's, enough. I don't know. Buy a, hey, I don't know. Know. Buy a bourbon the after the game. <laughs> tough loss. What's, what's uh, the equivalent of putting five sides. people in the paint? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> in hockey. Just pitch right. it off sides. Just keep throwing <laughs> them off sides. I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but then you get to the face off. Icing. Uh, Icing. Well, Icing. The, the funny thing about it was just this past week in that big run that they had, on the road was they were able to play Huso a couple times. He actually played pretty well. Yeah. So I, I think. Didn't oh, yeah, you mean like after Bennington took on the whole yes, San Jose yes. Sharks Yeah, team. they didn't <laughs> even play him against San Jose. Well, they did that on purpose. Did you see what happened? Yeah, I a saw. A fight broke out. Yeah, so. <laughs> who, it's Clifford, a hockey game. Was it? Was that Clifford that was yeah, going yeah. at? Mm-hmm. Like in yeah. warm-ups, they yeah. were like. Yeah, they just went at it. Yeah. And then like. Yeah. So yeah. let's get this over now. <laughs> it was like they dropped the puck and then they just yeah. it, start Listen, the game. Hey, there's nothing cool, nothing cooler than watching a, a goalie fight. Yes. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about that some interesting that stuff. That yeah, that I, 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 watched, I watched the Washington, watch, um, the, the Capitals play the Blues one time. Dad took me to the game. It was back when Peter Bonder played. Yeah, okay, Peter, Peter, Bonder. Peter Bonder. And uh, we're, we're out there watching, and we're sitting at the very top just about. And all of a sudden, I mean, there has been some chippy stuff that happened yeah. apparently a few games before. And start of the second period, they dropped the puck, and everybody fought. Yes. Everybody fought. The goalies <laughs> fought. <Yeah>. Everybody <laughs> fought. And they had to, they st- I mean, the, the backup goalies were coming out and, like, 
just taking all the equipment and like sweeping them, <laughs> sweeping up their sticks. <laughs> you had to stop everything, figure Man. out who's who's, who's getting the penalties, figure out what we're doing, and then go from there. It was the greatest uh, thing I've ever seen. I loved – since then, I loved hockey. So, I think it was the best <laughs> thing. Dylan best got one of the best games, the playoff game against San Jose uh, a few years ago. I don't even remember what year it was. He was really small. So we beat San Jose, and as soon as the game's over, they just brawl. The whole ice oh, is covered nice, with yeah. – and Dylan <laughs> is just screaming – you know, and he's like, Dad, this is the coolest thing ever. You do they know? do this every time? Yeah. <laughs> so as stupid as I think football fights are, probably the dumbest fights in professional sports. Oh, they're fights. dumb. You got a helmet. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bench clearing brawls in baseball. I mean, how about Amir Garrett going to take on the entire Pittsburgh dugout because he gave zero <laughs> capital F's family show? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, thank you <laughs> and uh like it yeah but he like literally went and then cleared the du- i mean giants and uh giants and dodgers have had some good ones i don't mind uh, it. A, a, i like it It has to be a good like one it. it can't be like cueto kicking yeah. oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Yachty. 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 yeah how about how about nolan ryan yeah, <laughs> right, and right, robert that ventura uh, over. no one will ever let robert <laughs> ventura <laughs> live that uh, down man. dude is that not the equi- like i'm 41 so i'm getting close to this like when does that old man strength kick in, right? Because that, that was the Texas. difference. <laughs> you're, not a guy, you're not a guy who's going to be like, oh, you're going to take me out of the game for a pitch count? I can't count that. Get out of here, kid. I know. Could you imagine him I want I want World some, Series and them trying to come take him out? Uh, after Kevin that. Cash come take Nolan Ryan out of that same situation. Yeah, oh my. Kevin Cash is in the headlock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, let's I think be real the here. The closest we've had in St. Louis to that recently, probably Chris Carpenter, right? Right. You know, oh, he was yeah, great. Do you think yeah. it was the manager, or do you think it was above him saying pull? Manager. It was a man. Yeah, I dude, hope or was it the analytics? analytics. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is it the analytics, which comes from Yeah, above? he went back and said it. If he had to do it again, he would do it again. Is that uh, wait, no is one, that not CYA? The out, no, no, wait, knowing the outcome of what happened because yeah. you made a decision. If it's I a bad know. decision, right. you should don't go back and say, I would do that same thing again. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That so, tells you how stupid it is. So, confession time here, um, and see what you guys would do. They do that right. in Catholic Thoughts. schools. We do. Uh, <laughs> so, so we use analytics to find out at what point kids become negative in their efficiencies. Like mm-hmm. what? So, so like every like if you play for me, I know that between six and eight minutes, you give us positive minutes. Anything over eight, you become negative minutes. Mm-hmm. All right. So now we're dealing with kids, not professional athletes. Kids have those emotions, those feelings, they're real, mm-hmm. right? And you have a player, and you know that it, at the nine-minute mark, they're probably going to start hurting you on the game. Mm-hmm. Do you use the analytics and try to keep them between six and eight minutes, or what do you do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the Tony La Russa, uh, Dave Duncan answer and say, you got to you got to use the analytics, but you also got to use the eyeball test. Eye I test. mean, it's a, it's a it's a feel because if they're if they're hot, you got to leave them on the floor. Um, I mean, I, I, that's that's my feeling on it. We'll have to wait. We got to table that one. We're yeah. up against all the time, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, real quick, uh, we. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That's yeah. Late. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Zach. What? <laughs> I don't know. Blair talked a lot on that large school conference stuff. <laughs> it's like, hey, golly, hey, be quiet, dude. Let's go. You can keep the trophy for another week. You're oh, going no, to we've got to anyway. do that. We can't. No. Hold on. This guy, one week. I don't want to play trivia. Now he's like, let's well, do yeah, trivia. Well, yeah, I made my commercial about you okay. losing. So okay. I kind of yeah. have that. Oh, well, that's what it is. See, okay. all he cares about is beating Exa- you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I hear, the, I hear the music, so I There's know it's music. coming. Um, right. Hey, yeah. thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun, guys. Thanks. Coach Ben. Elick from the Luther South Lady Lancers. And uh, we're going to step aside for just a quick, quick second. We'll be right back with Cranium Cup Trivia. We'll be right back. You're watching the Coach's Box. Tell us we can't, and we'll prove you wrong. Knock us down, and we'll get right back up. Call us risk takers, misfits, bad boys. But we know what we want, and it feels like American muscle. Looks like advanced engineering, and smells like fresh cut grass. Bad boy, mow with an attitude.
that right i'll say real quick um you know i really admire what you guys do with this i think everybody who's ever tuned into one of these whether it's a legion game whether it's a high school baseball game with basketball football whatever it is mm -hmm. um i've heard nothing but tremendous feedback uh, about live stream stl and what you guys do and the quality of production things like that i would really encourage anybody who's involved in athletics throughout the county uh really anywhere in the metro area uh anybody who's interested in sponsoring activities to get on board and get involved with this i think it's added a ton to what we do here it's added a ton to the program uh you guys are a class act and you're, you're committed to doing things the right way and we really appreciate that. We hope you're enjoying tonight's presentation. Take advantage of the HD experience here with Livestream STL by going to the TKDS Sports Network app. Download the app and subscribe by going to videos.tkdsports.com. That'll get you access onto our TKDS Sports app, Roku, and Fire Stick. And thanks so much for your support of Livestream STL. I'm about to get teed up. What? I'm talking to them. I'm not talking to you. Are you kidding me? I, you're throwing me out of a summer league game? I'm not Riley Blair. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. He's six to free throws. Shoot the cops. Join us. Coach's box, 7 p.m. Live from Robert Jacob. Susan Knight, see you there. This is Coach Riley Blair from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Jarvis from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Zach McVeigh with the Jefferson Lady Blue Jays. Hi, I'm Chris Miller from St. Pius X High School. And you're watching the Coach's Box. And you are watching the Coach's Box on Livestream STL. The Livestream STL. We are back here. Don't forget, tomorrow night, Mission March Madness. Class 5 quarterfinals between Lutheran South and North County, March 12th. Tomorrow, 5.50, we will be live. I have Coach Lee Richardson and Scott Lotta on the call. So check it out. All the Lutheran South and North, Car North County fans. I actually had both uh, fans from both uh, sides uh, checking them out uh, on our, our, uh, our sales already we've already got people that are have already bought uh the game for tomorrow night so that'll be good as we roll in here to cranium cup trivia and pull the music down here real quick should we use our new music i don't know oh Let's we're on we got. here it is hey hey, hey. we're good. on good. good thing i didn't say oh anything. you're not on but you're on now let's roll here we go. Let's get your microphones on there real quick. I, I can Everybody's on there. There you go. Yeah? Huh? All right. Yeah. Here yeah, I can. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, wait. Hold on. No. Do okay. It. Go. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. Here we go. Here we go. Question yeah. number oh, one. Close it. Yeah. Oh. Question oh, number one. Help. Milwaukee Brewers baseball trivia. Oh, Brewers. From <laughs> 1971. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. From the 19th century. From the same time this music came out. <laughs> <laughs> In the 80s. There you go. Rich Brewer had a 39-game hitting streak in 1987. <laughs> Don't you remember that? Who the heck's Rich Brewer? How, how many games? 39-game hitting streak <laughs> sure, in 1987. Okay. okay. Answers. Glenn, Glenn Braggs. Whoa. What's the question? Oh, you said which brewer? Which brewer? Oh, oh. I thought he said rich. I That's said R -I -C -H. what I said too. Like <laughs> which brewer? Oh, W. Which? Oh, which brewer? Okay, go. Which brewer had a 39-game hitting streak in 1987? I think I know which it. Which brewer? I think Benny I know it. But go ahead. Glenn Braggs. Braggs. Robin Yount. Yount. Greg Brock. Paul Molitor. Oh. Which brewer had a 39 game hitting streak in 1987? I don't know. Well, go through it again. 
Which ABC, brewer? A- no, a- just, Braggs, Yount, oh, Brock, funny. Molitor. Okay. Got the answers? What do you got? Mr. Miller, you are incorrect. Paul Molitor. Paul M. Yay! Molitor. Yeah. Dad oh, gummit. Darn it. Dad gummit. And I the other one. Yeah, me too. Blair, you're out. So guess who's in the lead? Wow, Jarvis. that don't happen often. Mr. <laughs> Jason Jarvis. I Jarvis. hope so. I talk smack in my commercial. So. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. But not on two. Chris. No. Hockey <laughs> trivia. Yeah, I would just say scoreboard. Yeah, that's why. Hockey I Hockey trivia, and let's why, why not? Let's go with L.A. Kings trivia. That's a good one. <laughs> Haha, I'm not going to do that to you. Um, we need a team right now. We can just talk basketball trivia. <laughs> Figure which one it is. Which Kings player scored eight points in a single game? Which Kings player scored eight points in a single game? Answers. Wayne Gretzky, mm. <laughs> Marcel Dion, Luke Robitaille, mm. or Bernie Nichols. Which Kings player scored eight points in a single game? Gretzky, Dion, Gino, Robitaille, Nichols. Uh, that's uh, in the 80s, isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. He just said ding, 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 ding. I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a limb. Answers. It's hard to hard to go without. Oh, uh, and that's who I was gonna go after too. But you are incorrect. Oh, so I'm wrong too. No, 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 no. What? What? Well, let, me look, let me look. I want to make sure I got it right. Jarvis, you're wrong too. Yeah, that's. I was gonna. Yeah, hear everybody it. had C. You hit, and you, you got D. The answer is Bernie Nichols. Wow. Didn't know. I thought it was Robotai for I sure. I thought it was like Robotai. Oh. Like, that's that's the one I thought right off the bat. And then he regrets getting my son of a. Since you all didn't didn't get it, we're going to stay with hockey. Bangers. I'm going to go with oh Detroit Red Wings trivia. Oh. Okay, give Jarvis a chance. Oh, really? So you're the saying tri- there's a chance? What do you mean? Give me a chance. Staying with hockey. Get one right. Staying with hockey. <clears throat> well, I didn't answer hockey right. That's why I said. That's why I said it. It's giving you a chance. You're up right now. Nobody else did either. Um, boom, boom. Da, 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 da. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Which Red Wing is not <laughs> a member of the original production line? Which what? Red Wing was not... <laughs> What's a, a production member line? of the Is that Henry original? Ford? Are we going all the way back to Henry <laughs> <laughs> Quote, unquote, production line. Uh, answers. In Detroit. <laughs> answers. Alex Del Vecchio. <laughs> sure, I can name Ted that. Lindsay. Gordy Howe. Or Sid Abel. Which Red oh. Wing was not a member of the original production line? Okay, Sam. I, I knew I had it right. Alex Del Vecchio. <clears throat> Ted Lindsay. Gordy Howe, Sid Abel. Who knows? I ain't got any M right yet, so let's keep on it. What'd you put? Hey. Answers? No idea. Play? I'm guessing. Mr. Miller, you are correct. Huh. Oh. What'd you put? Uh, Del Vecchio. Del no. Vecchio well, is correct. So everybody else let me see. Wrong. Everybody else got it wrong? Yep. All right. So All we're right. tied. Oh, there we go. Going into the last one. Is it one one. Wow. One to one. Yeah. They got to get it wrong. Let's let's go. We can't answer the same as they do. Let's go basketball trivia. We're gonna go we Dallas. Had anything this century? Dallas Mavericks trivia. <laughs> wow. For two weeks. <laughs> wow. Who was the first Dallas Maverick to have his jersey number retired? Hmm. Who's the first Dallas Maverick to have his jersey number retired? In Answers. What year? Didn't say what. I can't tell you what year. <laughs> Answers. Mark Aguirre, Brad Davis, Derek Harper, or Roland Blackman? Which or who was the first Dallas Maverick to have his number retired? Choices, Choices again. Aguirre, 
Davis, Harper, Blackman. Guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing. Oh, what this is total guess. I don't know. I don't even know. Any. Mr. Miller, you are incorrect. Well, then I'm oh, sorry. then you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> Jarvis and is the only one that's got different, so he, oh, if he wins, he wins. Uh, and so here we got incorrect, no, incorrect. It, it, was, Mark it, was, Dar- it was Brad Davis. Really? Yeah, Brad yeah, Davis. I think that was right. In what year? Uh, 1980. Oh, All right, so you two are out. Good. Overtime. Down to the final two again. <laughs> Overtime. <laughs> Blair, pick a category for us. Basketball. What, what team? Boy. What team? <laughs> oh, let's go with the Boston Celtics. Oh, my Yuck. favorite team. I just got sick. <laughs> I'd rather watch Showtime Lakers. Not new Lakers. That's why it is said that. You ever watch Bird? I'm, the, hey, I like I'm a Lakers Bird? fan. I have to be a fan of them still, even though they have LeBron. I like Boston. I like Lakers. Here's a question. Which Celtics player grabbed 50 rebounds in a single game? Which Celtics player grabbed 50 rebounds in a single game? Answers. Larry Bird. Robert Parrish. Bill Russell, Dave Cowens, or Cowens. 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 I got that one right, and I knew that was right. So, Bird, Parrish. We said Bill Russell. Bird, Parrish, Russell, Cowens, and you both are correct. All right. Let's stick with we're, basketball. We'll we're stick basketball with, coaches. Let's do it. And we'll stick with uh, – why not? We'll just stick right here. What would you two do? Get Here's a question. Well, Russell, there it is. We all had Russell. Yeah. Who is the Boston Celtics all-time points leader? Paul Pierce, Larry Bird, Bill Russell, John Havlick. Havlicek. 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 We're out in. Both are yeah. incorrect. Really? Paul have, Pierce is not? It's, it's, it's no, Havlicek. he ain't been there. It's D. Yeah. It's D. Yeah, have a check. Okay. I thought Pierce passed it before he uh, left. He, not according no, to this. Uh, uh, I was going to pick Havlicek, but I didn't. I was like, it's got to be Russell. All right, here's a quick, good one. Stay in here. Which Boston Celtic won five NBA Most Valuable Player Awards? Five Sweet. NBA Most Valuable Player Awards from the Boston Celtics. Bill Russell. Dave Cowens, 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 Larry Bird, Bob Cousy, Cousy, Russell Cowens, Bird Cousy. Well, I sucked at that one. Answer: Russell Cowens, Bird Cousy, Cousy, Cousy. What I thought, but I, yeah, I guess I, you I don't know. No. You can't answer. It's just I know. Them. I know we can do it for fun. I can, I can. What do you got? There. Well, what happened? I'm going to be wrong, but this is let's go. Where'd you go with it? Cowens. I went with Russell. Mr. Miller, you are <laughs> correct. Mm. Well, I just didn't think we'd have that many Russell questions. Well, mm. I didn't think so go. either. That's why I didn't pick Russell. So we stay with Mr. Miller. Just another day. Hey, another uh, day Zach doesn't win. Why don't we get these questions beforehand? That would make it a lot faster, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hey, real quick before we go. Because we got to talk about it. We Uh-oh. got our coaches box tournament challenge for March Madness. March, March. Madness. Right. Um, when selection Sunday is over, we're going to. This you know, Sunday. This Sunday, yeah, that's right. We're going to put it out there um, that we're going to have uh, brackets. You can buy as many brackets. They're going to be $10 each. And yep. the winning pot's going to be. 70% of the pot, and then second and third place is 20 and 10. So $10 a bracket, I think, you can, and we're going to do it through ESPN yes. uh, Bracket Challenge, so we'll have our own group. So we'll put the same thing out. We'll have a Google form. Whenever you guys uh, uh, buy it, then we'll send you the email, and then that way you can sign up with the group, and you just buy as many brackets. Uh, you know, you can do the same thing, pay cash or Venmo. And it uh, should be a fun thing. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll have a big deal going on with it. We'll keep track of it as we do the shows. Uh, but the deadline to do it, once we put it out there, will be uh, Thursday morning at 9 a.m. So that way, because the, yep. the first, first four group. games come yeah. out, or they, they play at 4 p.m. 
on Thursday. Right. So pretty excited because we haven't done a bracket in a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. I Hopefully we can get a lot of people to do it. And that way we have a big prize. And, uh, you know, maybe Zach, will, you'll have a chance to win that. Uh-huh. I have won hey. those before. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Maybe we should make a commercial for By the that. Because it's we'll recent. To run. Hey, how's Kentucky doing? They're great. They lost today. <laughs> yeah. How, how's Duke? They're done. COVID. They're COVID. How we need to get How's Duke? That's right. It might be. got a win right there. <laughs> CO. Oh, yeah. That's right. There I hope they do well. We're an SEC basketball do well. tournament game. I'm glad to see <laughs> right? it. Glad to see it. I hope the, they do well. Oh, there Missouri you will. have it. Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. I just Because you're from Missouri. I know. I really think that Duke going out. Help Slew's chances of moving. No, it doesn't. Uh, nope. It'll I be, believe so. Because yeah, Duke, be Duke was the, one of the final four in. It'll be something stupid like Syracuse, who always gets in uh, because Bayheim. Yeah. Now, they did play Virginia tough today. But did they, they did. lose? Uh, oh, yeah, they lost by game. three because uh, Virginia hit a three pointer at the buzzer. Yeah. I'm going to go. say Slew gets in. Gosh, I don't see. Full prediction? You, hey, do you want to put a side wager on that? Sure Kyle Bohr, what's yeah. the over-under on that? Yeah, Kyle's right. not watching that. Not He's great. <laughs> not great. Uh, not great. All right. All right, folks. Thanks for watching the Coach's Box again. Next week is our one-year anniversary. That's it's, right. Is it next week? It yes, is next it is. week. And we have to say week this. 52. Wow. There what? it is. And I will say that there be will be three? some fun things going on for next week's show. I have some fun things planned as well. So, uh, yes, yes. Everybody is having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. There it is. Mm. Old school day. Again, thanks for watching the Coach's Box. We'll see you next week. We'll see what we got up our sleeves for our one-year anniversary. See you then. I have short sleeves. <laughs>